I came. I came. I saw. I saw. I, I hit him right dead in the jaw. In the jaw. I, I came. I saw. I, I hit him right dead in the jaw. Get, get back, back. Get back. You, you don't, don't hate babe like that. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. You're going to be the one that saves me, saves me. And after all, you're my hey, babe, wall. You up in hey, babe, all over, all over. Gonna dress you up in hey, babe, all over your body. Gonna dress you up in hey, babe, in hey, babe, all over your body. All over your body. In hey, babe, all over, all over. From your head down to your toes. Wow, nailed it. I don't, I don't need worry. you to worry. No, it's not good. <laughs> I don't need you to worry. No, no, no. Start over. Ready? I don't need you to worry for me because I'm all right. Bam, 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 bam. I don't want you to tell me it's time to go home. Bam, 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 bam. I don't care what you say anymore. This is hey, babe. Bam, 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 bam. Go ahead with your own life. Leave me alone. I'm sure you knew when I bit off more than I could chew. But through it all, when there was doubt, I ate it up and spit it out. I faced it all and I stood tall and hated my way. You really, that was a missed opportunity. It should have been I did it my, hey, babe. Well, no, no, I thought about that. Hey babe. Baby. Hey babe. So like I've like the emotion that I've been trying to articulate lately and and where I think I'm feeling is conflicted not okay. conflict but conflicted i feel mm. in many aspects of my world from everything every it seems like everywhere everything i do from making a decision to order food to what to wear it feels like i have my feet in two places and I'm straddling two worlds and what I need is to pick a side. I've been trying to pick a side and that's what leads to the depression. That's what leads to the anxiety is, is if you can just get to a place where you can have two feet on either side of whatever the fence may hold, you will inevitably be better. Even if you realize you chose wrong, at least you won't be conflicted and being torn down the middle you'll be whole so is there anything happening to you like that no okay the f t training for <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. This is from official Dflex one. Look at this video. <laughs> Oh my oh. god! Look at oh that. God. The flexibility is next level. Oh. The, timing, the timing of you turning, turning <laughs> and just throw out that conversation into that. <laughs> oh Did god. you? Could you imagine your first day back at what the gym, and that's on? what you walk into? <laughs> that's uh, very difficult. What he's doing, by the is way. His front, he's, is that little Nas X? <laughs> is, he's his he's front over back. Front over back. That's, he's he's his. Legs. How is he not hitting his nuts? Oh my god, he's got he's got. <laughs> Look at his ass in here. Yeah. His feet, his feet are way way down like fucking. 
<laughs> Look at like, what's putting a tent in the ground. He said driven stakes. <laughs> Look at the crack of his ass. <laughs> It almost looks <laughs> fake. Why is he doing <laughs> the, it? The f is he training for? <laughs> where is his? Where are his balls in this scenario? <laughs> Look at his ass crack. <laughs> I like that you're like off the dome. Well, no, because I'm just tired. If you're tired, I have a suggestion. I really because my yeah my kid's not sleeping. You're tired. Sleep regress. You want to do something to w wake you up? We got the sauce. We got the hot sauce. The hot sauce, the hot ones, hot sauce. So as you know, from last week, I was on hot ones. I told you that they gave me the, the three last dab sauces that are 10 out of 10 Scoville units hot. So this is the screamers. This is what they, when they do the interview, these are the ones at the very, very, very end. And I took them on the show. I brought them. And I think we set it up. We talked about doing it. I will do it if you will do it. I know that like we were going to decide if we were going to do it or not. I've experienced it. It's not good. I really don't want to do it. But how long does it last? It depends how much you take, I suppose. But it, 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 it lasts, it'll last like really hot, like really, really hot. <sighs> Maybe like 20 minutes plus. 20 minutes plus? Yeah. But we'll have, we, we, we have to take like milk or ice cream or something like that. Do you have ice cream? Oh, I should have brought my Lanta with me. We have ice cream. I mean, look, you're going to need it. I don't think there's any way we could do this without ice cream uh, or, or milk. There's no way. I, people do it on the show, but I think that's because they end on these and then the interview's over and they kind of just like, but like, I don't Has think- Has anyone we, ever done it and it never, it, they didn't affect them at all? You see people get through doing the whole thing without even taking a sip of water. It's crazy. When you did the show, did they have to ask if you have any medical problems, blood I, pressure issues, blah, 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 blah? I think they might have. Yeah, I think they actually might have. Maybe. I know I had to do COVID testing, but like, but, <laughs> but the show, if you ever watch a show, there you go, pimp. If you ever watch the show, um, people, a lot of people do really well, but I'm telling you, like, I don't know how they do it because when I, I took, maybe because he told me, Sean Evans told me like, you're really going from zero to a hundred on this because you usually build to it, but out of the gate on truth or dab, you just do the hottest one. So I guess that could have been a shock factor of all the why it was like so like killer. But did you ever see, you ever watch any of them? Some of them are good, but the, one of the most infamous ones was DJ Khaled was on. Okay. And it was in the beginning, like towards more of the beginning. DJ Khaled, I don't know if the show had the reputation it had yet. Okay. And DJ Khaled definitely didn't do any research. And he came on, and everyone loves to get interviewed about this guy. Remember I told you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And DJ Khaled came on and he like brushed it all off so badly. And he was like, he was kind of like, um, he was kind of like like placate. He was kind of like talking, not talking down, but like he didn't give the show the like the kind of like the 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 respect it was to be on it. And then he just was like, "Now nah, I'm not eating anymore." No one's ever done that. I don't think his people told him like, "No, this is a thing. You go all the through. It's a good promotional tool." Like uh, he asked great questions, and he he it starts off with Tabasco, <laughs> and he yeah. ate the Tabasco, and he goes, "What are you kidding me?" He goes, oh, "No, nah, I'm not eating anymore." He ate Tabasco sauce. And that's it. And then he was like, no, I can't do this. I can't do this. And it's, it's one of the most watched ones because he was such a... He was, it was so, he was so lame. Because I am not good with spice. Well, then this is not for you. This is the hottest spice you could possibly have. <laughs> Pim, you're not going to do it, right? Uh, I'll, I'll taste one of them. Why not? You will do it? Yeah, why not? But I feel like you're the one steering the ship. And if we all have it, we might crash. Be a fun ship. Uh, watch yeah. it sink. They want to watch it sink. <sighs> guys All right, well, do what do we it? need? Yeah, we I'll need cups. It. We need spoons. I got well, chips. We can put cups. it on the chips. The are we doing? Are we doing all three of them? We're just doing one. I, think I can't do all three. I don't think I can. I think they're. I think they're all on on the bottle. It says the level of heat. These all say ten out of ten heat. The, they're the last dab, so it's like the one that ends the interview. Um, the last day of Apollo is the world's only hot sauce made with the Apollo pepper, the new hottest pepper from Guinness World Record holding chili breeder Smokin' Ed Curry. The Apollo pepper channels the sun's energy to bring new levels of flavor and heat to the world. The sun's energy? <laughs> <laughs> Caution, the hottest sauce on Hot Ones cranks the spice levels even higher with this special triple X rated version of the last dab. Three distinct strains. Pepper X, Chocolate Pepper X and Peach Pepper X combined to smoke out the celebrity guests and fans alike. Dude, you tell me which one you want to do. I don't know. Will it wake me up? Yeah. 
I think I think oh you're, oh, you're going to be awake. You're not going to be tired. You're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna you you you're not gonna be able to you're not gonna be in the state that you are now. No way. You're gonna be sweating, and I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't stand still. I had to literally shake my body because the the heat has to manifest itself somehow. I couldn't physically take it. Now I told I don't do well with spice either. So if you're like me. It's not going to be good. So I will tell you, it's not going to be enjoyable, but it might be good for the people that listen and watch. I mean, they gave it to me. I don't. I would never use this in, in real life. And Do people use this in real life, or this is just a thing to... I asked Sean that. I told you. And I think he just said, like, well, they have so many now, and I think some of them are really delicious. I think this one is more just like a... Let me try. Let me see if I can do this. Unless you're someone that could eat spice. I have a I've friend from India that will drink this like water. Right. So, what's his name? <laughs> <Her. Her. laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, dude. I mean, look, shout out to Hot Ones. Shout out to First We Feast. They gave us this stuff. It's kind of like a little plug. If you guys don't know, if you're living under a rock and you don't know um, Hot Ones or, 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 or The Last Dab, go to the YouTube channel First We Feast. And it's the it's the it's the best. It's it's like people answering uh, great interview questions while they're taking the hottest sauce in the world. It's just like, I don't know. The combo of it is so entertaining. I feel like you are. If you're doubting it, maybe we we shouldn't do it. I'm doubting. I just I just hate spice. Well, <laughs> so so I hate so the spice. thing about that is that is just all this is is just hot spice. So. I mean, Are you gonna do it, knowing that you? I'll do it if you do it, but I I don't know why I'm gonna do it because you don't actually want to do it. No, it wasn't fun and it and it hurt and it was bad. But here, this this will help you feel better. It's a little hot fun. peppers contain an alkaline oil based molecule called capsaicin. Yeah, cap- which, capsaicin. Yeah, cap- which sneaky triggers the temperature sensitive pain receptors in your mouth, even though the molecule itself doesn't produce heat or cause any real damage, unless you really overdo it. Can it alkaline an oil based molecule? which sneakily triggers the temperature-sensitive receptors, even though the molecule itself doesn't produce heat. But So what are we saying? Are we saying that if there's not real heat, it's in our head? Yeah. No, that's not true. No, it's, it's not in your head. It's in the receptors of your tongue. How to cool your... All right. How long this... Dissipates in 15 minutes. What, though? The burn from capsaicin. Yeah, but that's any capsaicin, capsaicin, capsaicin. Capsa- this is the ghost pepper X ghost pepper. So I, let's just. If the food is really hot, it may lead to nausea or vomiting. It can stimulate the production of gastric mu- mucus and temporarily speed up metabolism. I start immediately uh, blowing my nose, my eyes tearing, sweating profusely. Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Within a minute. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's, why don't we do I'm it? Not, why don't we do it and play Mad Libs? Look, look. We were gonna play Mad Libs last week. What is this? What is this? <laughs> this made me laugh so hard. <laughs> play it from the beginning, play it from the beginning. <laughs> Where is this? What is this? This is hilarious. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Woody from Toy Story dancing, but dance love, like twerk. Look at this. Uh. Wait, it's so it's so realistic. Woody could get it. Woody that could get someone, it. It's someone in a Woody outfit. <laughs> Look at that. It's got like serious it's moves. So, so funny to see. Him. Look at it with the hat on. Look at this. It's like erotic. <laughs> Look at Minnie Mouse come at the end. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Um, I, this might not be that bad because it, maybe it's not baked on the full wing, so or it could be worse. I, I don't know what we're gonna feel after just this. We might want to do it more, or we might not want to do it more. Okay, are you biting from the hot sauce side the first? Chip in my mouth. Okay, ready? Yeah. On three. Okay, one, two, three. It hit me immediately. It's immediately. This happened the last time I got hiccups. 
I got the hiccups immediately. I'm waiting for it to really get bad. It's Chris's first time. You didn't get it for one. Is there any milk left? Is there enough milk? I can't do this again. I already can't do this again. I swear to God. I swear to God, I can't do this again. Wait, it's gonna get. Did it even hit yet? It's bad. I got the hiccups already. I don't know why I get the hiccups so immediately. Does it get worse from here? I think. I want to do another one and play Mad Libs? I can't do that again. Sal, I'm not lying to you, man. It hurts so bad, and I feel like I can't breathe. <laughs> Imagine this is how you die. The ice cream helps. The ice cream helps only for the minute that second that's in your mouth. Well, you have to keep eating ice cream then. Well, no joke. Try not to eat the ice cream. See what happens to you. Yeah, Chris, Try not to eat that shit. We never heard anything about your Disney trip either. <sighs> I look fuck. <laughs> My Disney trip. Is it bad? Is it bad for you? No, no, Sal. I swear it's to bad. God. I, I, I know that somebody at home might be like, oh, they're acting. They're playing it up. I, I can't explain to you how much fucking pain I'm in right now. And I would trade anything in the world to get rid of this pain and go back to just being depressed. <laughs> Because it comes in it comes in stages like my depression. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. You're a cold hearted bitch. <laughs> oh my god. I genuinely I can't That was from just dipping a chip in it. And you Imagine ate an entire wing. wing. Eat three wings full. Alright, the pimp's gonna go in. Ah, uh, um, you want to try another? Can I try another flavor? I can't. I can't. So honestly, I know you guys did it, and I know, and I don't care. You guys can call me pussy. I can't. I can't do it any. It, I'm in so much like, like I'm in. I would say severe pain. How much did you take? I took a decent amount. I already feel it. No, you can't drink the milk. I'm not. I'm not milk's for headliners only. Oh. Oh, yeah, you feel it right down your throat. Oh. I love that they made it a way to torture celebrities. Oh. <laughs> it's hard to talk. I can't, man. I'll interview you imagine, while you do it. Imagine doing three wings of that. I can't. I, that's the thing. I can't. I don't care. Everybody can fuck me and call me a pussy. I mean, just get in line. <laughs> Everyone can roast me and say that I'm a fucking failure. I would just say, well, I guess I'll see you at dinner on Sunday because that's what everyone says. Anyway, and I, I, this is not, I will tell you this, this is not helping with my depression. It's making me feel worse now because this is what I am and kind of realizing that members of my family are right. Dude, I'm, get, I'm actually getting a headache. Um, I'll tell you something. Hiccups and a headache. Um, some people don't drink anything or do anything they just let it sit i don't know how you do that <laughs> it's like it's like it's like my mouth is so hot that i'm freezing six-year-old alexa changes name due to amazon related bullying yeah i agree wait what happened the lady changed her name or the, the girl name. yeah no. because because every time she gets called for dinner the the the, the fridge turns on <laughs> Sal, I, listen. I have a headache. I have the utmost respect for what you do. I, I can't. I, I dude, I'm, I can't either. I'm just, I'm just doing it because we have the ice cream. But I'm trying to make good content. <laughs> <laughs> I found a great clip last night from the '80s or no '93. If you guys want to watch it, so corny. Oh, what does my therapist always say? It's still hurting Don't me. resist, accept. It's like you always say to the listeners, surrender. Surrender. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, ready? All right, ready? What? Do one more with this one, and then lean back and as long as we possibly Ooh. can through the pain. Don't take ice cream or milk. 
go water. See if you guys can go. I one. mean, it might take thirty seconds. It might take two minutes. It might take ten seconds. I couldn't do it. I had to go to my land to eight seconds in. But like, even if we sit here and punch the couch and scream and stuff, let's see how long we could do it. If we could make it like a minute, want to see if we can make it a minute? Let's see if we can make it a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I have a pounding headache, <laughs> and my tongue is burning right now. Yeah. <sighs> All right, can you get the hair out of the cup? Where's the cup? Oh, yeah, yeah. Can, yeah, can you just get that hair out of the cup? I think it's on the bottom. It's on the bottom, guys. Okay. Okay, put it in. Oh, my God. I swear to God, dude. I, my heart is racing. So what's the next flavor? What's, what's on the label? What do uh, you say about it? This is uh, the Last Dab Carolina Reaper Special Edition. Reaper edition, the last dab single pepper series remixes the spiciest sauce on hot ones, replacing pepper X with some of the other heavyweights of the chili world. Experience smoking Ed Curry's world famous Carolina Reaper in, an, in its blazing glory, tamed only by the zingy blend of mustard, ginger, and turmeric. Chris is so worried. This is the most worried I've ever seen, Chris. <laughs> Go like this. Let's just do this. Take a chip. Ready? Yep. Was I supposed to shake this? Well, you think anyone's ever accidentally gotten this in their eye? Yes, I know. I gotta be. It's gotta be the law of averages. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Hold it steady. I'm gonna put what I gave me. Okay. 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 Pimp. Oh. Pimp, you, you doing do this it? with us? Yeah, I'll do it right after you guys do it. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to. Let me put it on the chip oh. for you, because I don't think I'm gonna be able oh, to. I have the chicken. I'm gonna do the chicken. Does your mouth? You is your mouth fine now, Pimp? I mean, I took less than you guys. Put this on there. Yeah. Put like that though. Put like that though. Yeah. See, like that though. I don't feel good at all, man. I do feel nauseous. I know. I do. Yeah. You do you feel nauseous, too? Yeah. yeah. Do I oh, get, yeah. That's oh, a yeah. good amount. I do. I feel something off with my head. <laughs> yeah. Let's yeah. don't throw up. Let's do it. All right. Ready? All right. Let's do it. Okay, go. Go. Five minutes. Five minutes. Um, this one, this one is not hitting me like the other one. It might kick in a little later. I'm feeling it. <sighs> this one is not hitting me like mine's the other one. Mine's speeding up now. It's getting there. Oh, really? It's a slow burn. Yeah, mine's speeding the fuck up right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I just choked it. It burned. <sighs> oh man! What do you guys think about this article? Ooh. 122-year-old woman said she smoked for 100 years and ate two pounds of chocolate weekly. I think that I'm this 122-year-old woman. <laughs> Ah. I have so much sal <coughs> saliva. Yeah. This yeah. is not, saliva is crazy. This is a slower burn. The other one burned immediately. It's like your head vibrates. <sighs> Come on. He eating a carrot. That's oh. bigger than the chihuahua, that bug. The thing is eating a full-grown carrot. Oh. We, the whole carrot is in this bug's mouth like he's a human being. That's an ant? It's an the bug is as big as a gerbil it's a giant and bug. loves carrots. I wonder if he loves but If you saw a bug as big as a gerbil, I'll tell you right now, one of two things is happening. One of three things. What is it? If I don't have a bomb shelter to live in... Oh. Okay. Oh, God, I hate bugs. Oh, if I don't have... Bugs... Traffic, sweat, the common cold, strong wind, bugs. Bugs is my fifth <laughs> most hated thing. Bugs. Uh, if I can't move into a bomb shelter and I cannot uh, escape a bug like that, I'm drinking the poison myself. That's what I'm doing. I'm drinking the poison myself. Well, so you don't think you can win... So you Look don't, at the size of that fucking bug! So who would win in a fight then? You or a room full of 10,000 bugs? Oh, the bugs win. Hundred percent. You ten thousand. But what all sizes or are these big bugs? Just let's say. These? Uh, let's say you have. Can the bugs? Is it an assortment? It's a. None it's of a, them fly. It's, a, all it's like a. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a trail mix of bugs. Yeah, but it could be from the smallest <laughs> to the biggest. 
Look at that. You guys want to see the five inch, five inch giant water bug. This is the ten biggest bugs, apparently. Okay, this is a giant oh, water I'm bug that's four and a half inches. <laughs> so a giant water bug, at just as as big as homeless pimp's penis. <laughs> hey Siri, <laughs> what is eight billion times seventy? Eight billion times seventy is five hundred sixty billion. There you go. Well, so five hundred sixty. We could have done that math. 560 billion pounds? No, times 70. That's 8 times 7. That's 8 billion times 7. Oh, that's 56 billion. Okay, she's right. So Siri's Siri, right. So <laughs> the bugs weigh 560... Bi- no, I'm sorry. The bugs weigh as much as 560 billion humans. So if a human is... What's the average human? Want to say 150 pounds? That's what I said, yeah. Hey, Siri... What is 560 billion? 560 billion times 150 is 8.4 times 10 to the 13th power. Yo, she doesn't even have a word for it. Wow. She had to spit back just That's math. how heavy bugs are. It's 84 with, it's the number 84 with 12 zeros after it is how, how heavy the bugs are. If I did oh, that right. My God. That's as much Elon Musk. That's he, they got Elon Musk weight. Yeah, that's crazy. That's wow. crazy, bro. Here we go. An Atlas beetle, also known as a Chaco Colosa, is 5.1 inches. Yo, you got to show these. This is insane. We're going to put it up. They're going to see it. That thing's got a goddamn uh, horns. What does it do all day? What does it do all day? It's got horns? Is it Jewish? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, cut that part out. I was just kidding. <laughs> Just wanted to do a dad joke. Uh, <laughs> what dad? <laughs> mine. <laughs> yours, yours, yeah, my dad. My, my, yeah, my dad's name's Adolf. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my uh, Hercules God. Hercules beetle. Yo, every one of these huge bugs is also just so happens to be absolutely terrifying, disgusting. I looking. mean, a 6.7-inch beetle. This has to be like in a rainforest somewhere, right? This is why I don't go to the rainforest. Yeah, but back during dinosaurs, weren't the bugs supposed to be like, oh my God. like well, cars? The, so yeah. The dinosaurs, though. It seems like beetles are the biggest bug. You, could you just step on one of these things with your shoe still? I don't know. I feel like it would be like That's, you'd have to get a new shoe. Oh this thing, my. the this largest this insect on earth. Is Go back up feet. to that name, uh, Pimpy, please. Uh, Frigandria chinesis zhao, twenty four point six inches. The largest insects on on earth. So it's this, two feet. This guy's ca- holding it in his hands. Oh, it looks nice. like an asparagus. It looks like a. It looks like a tree branch with legs. Oh, God. Yo, if I saw any one of those things. The largest insect that ever lived was a Megarneuroprosis permiana. It's it's basically a dragonfly the size of a chihuahua. Yes, it's a dragonfly. It's probably bigger than a chihuahua. Yeah, it's it's a flying chihuahua dragonfly. I'm assuming that's a mock-up of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, what would you do if you you were sleeping one night and that was on you? No, that's it. I'm telling you right now. I, I don't know what I would do. I don't know what I would do. Could you rather deal with that or a rat? Could you deal with an insect or a Oof. rat? So you're saying you have, one is going to wake you up foot, crawling all over. A foot long bug. Or a rat. Or a rat. One is going to wake you up crawling all over your body. You ha- you're going to be strapped down to a bed. You have to deal with it for five minutes. Which one is it? <sighs> that's a tough call, bro. That's what we do on Hey Babe. rats freak me out. Mice don't. Rats do. Yeah, rats are but disgusting. But people... People breed and have rats as pets, and they don't necessarily attack you. So I I don't know, man. I'm going to tell you something disgusting right now. When no. I when I was doing that gig with the bald eagle. By the way, the bald eagle got paid more than me, rightfully so. When I was doing that gig, the handler. By the way, for all you bald eagles out there, just go to Keeps. Use the promo code Hey Babe. <laughs> What it is. <laughs> so this is Elvira. She's a Craigslist find, right? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's, uh, that's on the up and up. Yeah, and oh she's a beautiful. Oh, that is. I didn't realize. Look, look at her oh, oh, oh my god, it's literally terrifying. Yeah, it is terrifying, bro. Look at it. Why? Because she's black? <laughs> yeah. No. I, I didn't realize it was going to be if like. I bring sh- on my white stick. I'm sure you guys would have behaved like this. <laughs> okay. okay. Whoa. Now yeah. this one's beautiful. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Throw her here. Throw her here. Pay it's, that. It's not, it's not, mine's not going to happen oh. here. It's not going to happen okay, here. Okay, okay. Actually, they sense fear, right? Look, no. look, 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 look. What do you mean, no? No, Sergio, smelling. don't be a dick. No, but they, <laughs> they, but they, they do sense fear. <laughs> but just stand up and put it, put it in front of Sal's face like it's front of mine. Just quickly. Just stand up. <laughs> don't give it to him. But I just want you to experience what I'm experiencing, Sal. How f- terrifying it is. Not too close, Sergio. Just touch it. 
It's looking, still looking at. Don't be a dick. Rocket money burning up all your forgotten subscriptions. I bet you've had subscriptions you didn't know about for a long, long Long time. time. Love it. Rocket money, formerly known as True Bill. Cancel them. Personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. You're giving me blue bills. This is, this is you know how people say use it or lose it? This yeah. is use it and, and lose, lose it, it you know which I like. I made that up. And if, you, thank you, Rocket. Listen, new year, new me. Yeah. New year, new goals are to manage your budget better and save money. Then guess what you need? Rocket money. Because you know, this is something, this solves a problem. Because all those places, they in the fine print, they go, it'll keep renewing. It'll yeah. keep renewing until yeah. you come. And then you won't look to cancel it. You're like, where do I, who do I? Sometimes they want a letter for, no. to cancel something. Get out of here. They want you to get on the phone to cancel what something. What is this, 1950? How about I light a rocket and shoot it right at you? Yeah, I'll shoot it right over you. Because over 3 million people have used rocket money, saving the average person up to $720 a year and makes cancel. Canceling easy in the click of a button. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. That's rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. What is it? Rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. I want to get in your box, your butcher Butcher box, box. which I got my delivery yesterday. Me too. 14 pounds of organic meat. Yummy. I throw it right in the freezer. I'm set for the winter now. Butcher Box takes the guesswork out of finding high quality meat and seafood you can trust. 100% grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised, crate free, and wild caught seafood. I love Butcher Box. It's fantastic. It's the new year, too. You have resolutions. You probably want to start eating healthier, right? I mean, all this stuff is top quality, yeah. okay? Yeah. It goes right to your door. You don't have to worry about going to the market and carrying home 14 pounds no, of meat. No, it comes right to your door. Also, I'm always worried, like, I don't know. Is this good? Is this not good? I, I don't know how, if this is right. It's good with Butcher Box. Yeah. I promise you it's good. They got recipe inspiration. They got all tips. It's also amazing. Also, high-quality cuts that are sometimes hard to come by at your local grocer. Which I love. Yes. Get that sound of that. They're, that's, they're cutting up the butcher right now. That's, that's right. the butcher coming with the box. Here he comes. Get the New Year bundle for free plus $10 off when you sign up today. That's a 14-ounce pork tenderloin, two pounds of ground turkey, and four top sirloin Jesus. steaks. Free in your first box. All you got to do is go to butcherbox.com slash heybabe. Use the code heybabe to claim this offer. Oh, we love Butcher Box. You don't want to touch it like that. That's like, you know, you don't want to poke, poke at it. I'm sorry Nothing that I'm likes scared to be poked. of snakes. I'm a this, normal give person. Give me the back of your hand and just go across. It's okay. very muscular. I didn't beat up drug dealers when I was 16. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it doesn't feel bad. No. Beautiful, oh. man. I feel like love it. Is that just one muscle? Is yeah, that what that is? It's just a lot one of muscle. They have uh, a spine and ribs. Why does it smell throat. like adobo? <laughs> <laughs> if you chop, uh, like, oh, if, actually, this is if nice. you chop off, like, a, the back foot there, dies? The, back, the tail? Does it die? No, I mean, they can, they, anything before uh, the anal vents, it'll probably survive. Okay. Yeah. So would would if you're chopping a, a snake. Gr- no, they don't generate, they don't regenerate the tails like certain lizards do. Okay. Snakes okay. So if you're going to chop a snake, get above the asshole. Yeah. If you want to take it out. They'll be moving for hours. Shout on out anal vents. Shout them all out. Yeah. Shout them all out, the anal vents. Um, keep them clean, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out cutesy names for asses. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I found a new name, the anal vent, and I'm going to call my penis the hemipene. Yeah. Come on, give it a try, Chris. Just stand up tall for me. But I, I don't want to, it's a new shirt. He's very clean. Uh, I will say this. I will say this. I don't want to do it at all. If you do it, I'll do it. You have to do it. <sighs> this, uh, act as a tree. But Sergio. I'll be here. Yeah, I'll okay, hold the mic for me. But hold on a second. Now. Just say, what are the odds? What are the odds? Because there are odds. I, they, that he just takes a bite of our goddamn face. 50-50. Have you smelled Chris's breath? It smells like a dead rat. So, you know. <laughs> Oh I'm shit, Chris! I, I lied. I was lying. I, I completely lied. Hey, okay, I'm okay. You're fine. I got yeah, 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 but he's gonna when he starts to wrap around you. No, though. he's not gonna wrap around you. You let me know when you're done. What's up, guys? <laughs> do you date? <laughs> um, I got <laughs> yeah. all new. We'll, we'll do our dates with okay. the snake. I got. Hey, what's up, everybody? Got a brand new hour. Go to ChristyComedy.com for Tiki Wiki's second show added in Dublin, Belfast, London, sold out. Um, Chicago Theater sold out. Go check ChristyComedy.com. We're going to announce New Year's Eve in Long Island. Um, all my dates at ChristyComedy.com. You want to feel the, the time the Tiki Wiki's. It's a brand new hour of uh, comedy material. <laughs> I love animals. Oh, my God.
my guy. <laughs> he's fine. He's fine. I Look, he's that fine. He's that close. Yeah. He's okay. fine. <laughs> I, all right. No, so a, sl- a slow flick of the tongue is just curiosity. A flick short, flick fast tongue. one, a short, fast one is very, like, unsure of itself. Like, what the fuck is going on? Is it food? Right. Is, you know, not okay. to fuck some shit up? I'm good. You look good. Thank you. It matches your shirt. my fit. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, you serving looks. We were talking about this. I don't serve looks anymore. I just go for complete comfort. I'm out of I thought it was going to grab my eyeball. <laughs> So I also have. I a, did it. You I did have it. one more snake. So you want to try this one, or do you want to hold? Daddy's brave, girls. Oliver. What's, Oliver's next. What's what's Oliver? Oliver is the next one. What is yeah, Oliver? Oliver like? is a Burmese python. What's Found in the Everglades, it's an invasive species. That's what is it? What is? Is it? Is it more dangerous than that one? Then none of them are dangerous. Let's cut that talk out. It's very <laughs> negative. <laughs> right. None of them are dangerous. See, it's cool. All right, I'll try it. I feel like my job is not being done here. No. I want to like, I want everyone to be having like a snake party. <laughs> I feel like you're traumatized. Promise me that. Promise me that. I promise you, that, you're gonna be that fine. You'll keep that face away from Absolutely, my face. Absolutely, I will. I will. I want this to be and, honestly. Yeah, we're joking around, but already. I want it to be a positive experience. I don't want I'm to freak anybody out. Already, the bullet sense my sweat. No, I'll be fine. This one it doesn't be... like the shampoo I use. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, he's very tolerant. All right. All right. So I'm just gonna put them around your shoulders. I'll hold the head. But I, my my my. It's my, good to do one thing a day that scares you. This I, is it. I know. I'm just telling you right now. My heart is beating out of my chest. Is it gonna feel that? No, it's gonna. Did be you fine. take a blood pressure meds today? Yo, dude, dude, dude. I can't go near the, the face though. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll do it the opposite I way. I did take my blood pressure meds. Okay, so thank okay. You. All right. Can you hold this for me and put your phone down? How many milligrams are you on? Fifty. Um. I, I uh, I don't know exactly. Okay. Let's. I'll talk. We can. I'll I just <laughs> got. I just got put on blood pressure meds. No. <laughs> I I will. Right, I'm hold the head. This is not good. Let's for talk me, about our meds. Um, just stay right, right by me, Sergio. Just stay right by me. Yeah, please. I'm gonna be right by you. I promise you, it's gonna be. No, all jokes aside, I promise okay, you, it's gonna be okay. Okay, because I, my scared level right now is a ten out of ten, and so I promise you, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> the snake doesn't sense the ten out of ten scared level. No, 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 okay. I'm scared just watching. I don't look it in the face. I'm scared just watching. It would be gold though if it hit his face. I ain't gonna look in the face. I ain't gonna look in the face. All right, so I'm just gonna put. Don't fucking. I ain't gonna look in the face. Go over here. I'm saying right here. Let me know if it's too much. I thought, okay, it's just his ass. All right, I got the head. You're fine. Touch the, touch the, right here. I got the head. I'm going to be in Canada, October 14th and 15th, <laughs> Hamilton, Toronto. We edit a show. I'm going to be in Richmond, Virginia, and Hershey, Pennsylvania in October. In November, I'm going to be in <laughs> Knoxville, Atlanta, and Birmingham. Where is the fucker? Where is this motherfucker, please? No, you're fine. You're fine. I got I'm it. I'm very scared, dude. I'm going to be in Louisville and Evansville. <laughs> And then in December, I'm in Florida, in California, in Florida. I'm in Tampa. We had the second show. <laughs> show. I'm at the Hard Rock in Orlando, the Crest Theater in Sacramento. Uh, Jacksonville, what's up? I'm there. <laughs> in San- Sacramento, San Jose, and Santa Rosa in December. Everything's on sale right now at SalvoCounterComedy.com. Well done. Well done. Good there job. you go. Good job. Wow. <laughs> you want to give him a little pat? I got his head. You want to- I'm not sure what you're feeling like this. I got the head. He's got snooping the head. around, though. No, he's not going to. No, no, no. Amazing, right? His head's looking right at me. It's fine. Wow. It well, does, how do you the anal vent is a little... It is, is it shitting? Because the anal vent is a little dark black. What does it shit look like? It looks like cat shit. Like cat shit? It's a mix of... Snake shit looks a little bit like cat shit, but it's also ca- like calcified, like urates, like the urine. So it's like liquid, but it's I also white chalk. I like chunks. a scientist or something. <laughs> I don't know. We got one more. What do you feel about snakeskin items? Hate it? I, I'm indifferent. Okay. I, I don't get offended by it. Uh, what, does that does that mean the snake died for it, or is it just? Yeah, I mean, it's a part s- of a trade. Just like you might get a fur coat. You yeah, know? yeah. But is that that's not from shed skin? That's no, no, that's actual skin. Okay. And those are usually much larger constrictors, like like constrictors like reticulated pythons or African rock and pythons. And they go find them to hunt them to chop <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, and you can you, you know it's the, it's not wasteful. You can eat the meat. What like do you that, think about that? Have you ever chased a snake? No, I had crocod- I had alligator, I believe, and frog. What, what do you think about people eating snake? I think it's fine. Yeah. You would you would eat your snake? You're not- I'll be curious. Let me ask I- you a question. It's it's the end of days. I got the eating habits of a badger. I eat anything. 
It's the wow. it's the end of days. I imagine don't give a would shit. Would you eat? Yeah, would you eat? Fuck. Would you would you resort to eating a human first or a snake if they're both dead? You got a human and a snake. What a are you snake? gonna eat first? Whatever. I look like an animal to you. you? Well, I don't know. What it seems like you love snakes more than you love your own family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an athletic kid. I was pretty thin, but in in a Jewish house, if you're ten pounds overweight, you're enormous. You're got fat. Yeah. So I went to fat camp, and then I got fatter every year. I mm. you know fat and camp I, is a real thing. Yeah, I went to fat camp. It's for a real four thing. Years. I talk about it on stage a lot now. It's it's a camp. I'm writing a movie about fat. Cam. Really? Yeah. It's was, it, was it just geared toward, toward who's going to play? Who's going to play? Activities like, like so you lose weight. Is that what it's for? It's you. Uh-huh. You go. Like it's a, no, it's okay. You go and you literally get woken up at six in the morning and you have to go walking for three miles in in the dead heat in the middle of the summer. I went in the Berkshires <laughs> with mostly Jewish kids, not all wow. Jewish kids. But you, wait, wait, wait. I was not even fat. What is it? I'm not clo- kidding. I what was is athletic. It cloaked as. You what don't do you tell mean? your kids you're going. It doesn't yeah, say you're like going to fat it doesn't camp. say like fat camp on the on the sign and spray paint when you go through the fat. It's or? like wellness camp, but it's it is fat camp. It's fat camp. You go. It's everyone's like everybody heavy. was fat. Well, I was like the thinnest. I was one of the thinnest kids, but it was. They were like, what are you some in kids for? are obese. And would they? What would they do? Would they like just I'm like hundreds of kids? I'm not kidding. Yeah, I went. I'm not kidding. And they all knew that they were there because they were overweight. Oh yeah, that's Doesn't why that you go. Doesn't that do something to the psyche? Of course. Of course. Yeah, it's well, it's more up. rhetorical, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> does it? Does it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chris, and you're, does it? listen, does I'll it? tell you all about it. You you eat very small meals. Very you you you're restricted, and then you you you're not going to believe that it's really crazy. You line up. You would line up in your bathing suit, like on on the hills, no. to get weighed every Saturday. No. And then you would get no. weighed. You would get weighed where you ate. Talk about how sick that is. You got weighed in the mess hall where you ate every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They would have scales. Lined this up. doesn't and exist that's where anymore. You got weight. Yes, it does. Not in this fashion. Yes, it does. What's, a, what's Fat Camp call now? I <laughs> went to Camp Kingsmont. See if it's still Camp open. Camp Kingsmont. It is still they open. They weighed you in front of everybody. There's Camp Shane. That's the biggest one. They weighed you in front of everyone. Yeah. Well, you got weight. Everyone lined up to get weighed, so people saw you getting weighed. I swear to God, this is true. How is that? Look, a- that's where I went, Kingsmont. Wow. It's fit, called the Fit, fit farm. farm. Now they call it the Fit Farm. The Fit Farm. <laughs> Look they, at this. They, they hired some PR. These kids aren't even overweight at <laughs> well, all. Oh, right. my God. So that's I insane. was not very heavy. I'm telling you, I, I blew up. Every summer I got fatter and fatter. Because of this. Yes. Wow. I'm telling you. Well, they're because cooking I didn't learn it as, anything. They're making it like as an active fitness camp. Fitness is different than... Go, you're going, we're shipping you right, away. Well, we did do sports all day. But, but listen, this is the thing. Every morning. And then you would go walking up and down hills next to cows in the pasture. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you, they were like, they were like these are last joke. year's campers. I know campers. it sounds like I'm being funny, but you would, like, I felt like we would hold on to the trunks of the other fucking of the other like you know kids and you would just walk up and then sweat like it was the dead of summer did you and you would you would uh, like with all the other kids in the camp walk up and down the hills and like people would drive by and it was mortifying how were the kids? you were with all fat kids so they were all they thin they better be yeah and they were all I felt like they were all <laughs> in like in programs in college you know like for you know stuff that you would have done, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like physical therapy. Oh yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or nutrition, but I felt like every night they probably went back to their their bunks and like got high and drunk and like made fun of. That's what they do. <laughs> were they nice? That's what they, that's what they, that's what okay, they do in the movies. Nice. They were nice. So like it yeah. wasn't like nobody was like abusing you or anything no, like that. No, but wait, no. but yeah. wait, 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 wait. If you if your parents had felt that you were fit to their liking, would you have gone to camp? Or were they like Jessica? I went to camp also. You're, you're going to a fat for camp. For years. I went to camp for years. But my parents had a hard camp. time with me being heavy. Okay. Because they, they had a lot of issues with their own looks. You know, I came from that. From the way you looked. From, you know, appearance was important. And they cared about me. They didn't, you know, I, it was a part. A lot of it was they didn't Coming want me to be made fun place. of. They wanted yeah. me to, you know, that was a lot of it. Yeah, they it wasn't sure. like they were. They were sending you to fat camp for them, not you. Well, I think really? they were sending it to, for me too to help me and a part of me. But it me. didn't help you; it made it worse. Well, they—it's not like they—they they did it to be me. I think they were doing it to help me, and a part of me wanted to go too. You know, I was a teenager, so I thought, "Oh, yeah. let me go away for the summer." And, well, it must have been it was, and look good, yeah. and try to get healthier. And, and but, then I became friends with people, and I yeah. enjoyed it. It wasn't like a horrible experience. I had fun. Yeah, you and met- I was around nice people who accepted me. It's not like I wasn't popular in school, though. Right, of like course, I always yeah. had friends because I was funny. Yeah, I was gonna say you're, you're hilarious. When, but when you were there, it was there, not a great. It wasn't good for me. I'll tell you that much. It was not good because it got it got me heavier and heavier and heavier. How so? 
Because I didn't learn anything, and then I would lose all this weight quickly and then go right back to school and gain it right back plus more. Because so, it's not healthy. So you go back to school in September and be like, what would you do for your summer? Said, I'd be like, oh I my God, to, it was a great went, summer. I went to and fat camp, and, and they were like, no, you it. didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. When you were there at that age, though, did you acknowledge it as fat camp? Did you all the kids yes. be like, we're at fat camp? Yeah. You know where we are. Yeah, we all knew we were at fat camp. Really? Was there anybody yeah. who wasn't fat at all? Like they were noticed to be skinny, but they no. were in fat camp because their parents thought they were fat? Well, that was me, kind of. I mean, not you my weren't parents fat didn't. compared to them. Would they I take was, a shredded kid? I was kid? the least. I was like not. I was athletic. Like I was always played sports. Yeah. I mean, I played tennis in in high school and lacrosse and volleyball. But I was like ten. We know 15 you're a lesbian. Pound. <laughs> <laughs> tell us you're a lesbian. Not tell you us. You know, I ate lesbian. a lot of box. I mean, I was. <laughs> <laughs> but it's keto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you ate more of that, you'd be thinner because that, that has no calories. I mean, I was also molested in fat camp by a what? counselor. But that's I, the show. Yeah, that's but a, I think I asked for it because my clothes were tight. That? My clothes were really tight, so I think I asked for <laughs> so, it. And what happened? How they molest you? Um, not you? they. It wasn't like a gangbang. Oh, but yeah. um, no, it was a it was a counselor. Uh, I was like fourteen, and 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 a counselor uh, would hit on me. This guy Fred, he was so perverted. Oh but God. I didn't know it at the time. Fred, Fred you're a fucking Fred, freak. you piece of shit. <laughs> Fred, if you're like watching him. right now, we know I that look, you are. I look like look Fred. what you've done. I look like Fred. Identify Fred. I want to play Fred in the movie. <laughs> yeah, like you can movie. molest kids. I'll get you the part. Oh, my God. Who's going to play you? I don't know. Maybe Barney. Um, <laughs> Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Would they accept a, kid, a shredded kid? Could you imagine Jonah Hill's new role? Fourteen-year-old. I, I wait. And I'm the big black Jonah woman Hill in the movie that played the girl. In oh, the, precious. Yeah. Oh. Day, Cinebe, Gabardine, 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 Cinebe, Gabardine. Could you imagine if that's who played me? I think that aging is just a part of living. Yeah, and we should just celebrate. Getting old as fuck. So I recently, not recently, but like the last couple of years, I find, I got a line here. Okay. Like, because I squint so much because I have bad eyesight. And it finally caught up to me and like became a perm. So it's like right here. Right. And it wasn't there like a few years ago. And I, it's been annoying me. So you think you're going to get tox? No, I didn't think so. But I had a friend of ours, and I won't say any names because I don't know, although they probably say that they get tox all the time. But they were like, just get tox. And I was like, I'm a little nervous. And they said, it's just some botch in the face and it goes away. I said, but what about those people that you see? They get so much that they like no longer it's can addictive. smile. And then he says, yeah, but that's not what it is. You just get a little bit. You'll never know. So many people have Botox and you don't even know it because they do it the right way. You just don't want to get shot up all in your grill. So then I was like, well, they said it's not, it's safe and it goes away and it's not a big deal. And they started to make a case for it because I've never even entertained it for a split second because in my head you're just shooting botulism in your face and it's, 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 but I know. And then I found out after he told me more people I knew that did that do it that I didn't know. And then I'm like, if it just takes out this little line here. And again, never in my life would I get elective surge. Never. You wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I think like, I don't know. It's like you go in, you pay like a few bucks. They, they, it takes like five minutes, and you leave. That sounds like, that sounds like fair. Yeah, I feel like you, if you got addicted to Botox, I got to be honest with you, it would be like, even though it'd be like a thing that we'd all deal with together as your friends and family, but secretly we'd be laughing. I mean, a lot laughing. It would be because you, with like the Catwoman face, would be really, really, really. Like, hard to take funny. Yeah, but I would not... <laughs> but I wouldn't get it that bad. But I'm saying if you got an addiction, if you If I could. got addicted to... Talk, like, you, everyone else That's is nothing addicted. Nothing could stop you. You're addicted to TikToks. I'm addicted to Botox. Botox. Look, can we pull up the world, the, the worst botched... Uh, worst the, Botox. The I worst, mean, worst look Botox. Look this woman. You know what it is? It's just raging Whoa. insecurity. What it's the? raging insecurity. Yeah. I look like the guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God, look at her face. It's poor thing. Poor little girl. They, they shouldn't be allowed to do that to her. Now, it, it's almost the doctor's fault, right? 19 years old. She looks like a cartoon. Her eyes actually were swollen first. Then from 2010 to 2013, almost, all of it just 
All right, what about no? What about like worst worst plastic surgery? There's that woman, Jocelyn Jocelyn Wildenstein. Look Jocelyn Wildenstein. Yeah. Put put worst plastic surgery Wildenstein. Oh my god! <laughs> look at that woman's <laughs> face. Oh yikes! Oh oh, that can't be real, dude. It's just not good. I mean, at what point? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh no! The lips wait, are too wait, wait. big. The, girl, wait, wait, the one, hold on, the one laying in the bed just a few back. She was like, "I done fucked up." Yes, yeah, she was and like, she, "She's like, I done went and I fucked up." Yeah, it's look right, at, right. look at my face. Uh, a little bit more. There you she's go. She's like, yeah. "Please get out of my fucking face." She's I hate like, my life. But then, if you fast forward, this other girl is out of the hospital and she's got a parakeet on her shoulder, and she's like, <laughs> "I've accepted this and this looks good." Look at that woman's eye. That that's that cannot be real. That can't be real. Is that a filter? Let's go to number one. That's monkeypox. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, number one is that's the woman. That's her. This is her. Yeah, Joyce Wildenstein. She looks like a full. She looks like a, a like a like a sphinx cat. Yes, yeah, she does. She, she looks, looks like, like a cat. Wait, I have a question. Like, is she like what does she do? And is she alive and well? And she must know that she she made a few wrong turns at Albuquerque and she can't come back from it. But I'm not here to put her down so much as to understand how and why how and why is what we're trying to get to the bottom of is a little how and why jo i think it's jocelyn wildenstein good luck spelling it uh pimp spelled before he spelt uh i don't know what i just uh, what'd you spell before and uh weird thing joe de rose uh, 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 uh analogy uh, analogous analogous Joe was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an analogous sentence. And I was like, okay, I don't know if analogous is where I know you mean analogy. He goes, No, it is. He goes, type it in, Pimp. And we turned and we started cracking up. We we're like, Pimp could take two hundred times and not spell analogous. And he got it on the first try. Something happened today where Pimp put letters together in a row that and, and it he just, nailed he just it. lucked out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, because but <laughs> but that's usually how it goes. Is people who can't spell Easy words can spell insanely hard words. Yeah. That's what it is. Well, look at her in the 70s. You know, you get where she's coming from. That's crazy. Because, <laughs> because, because in 98, she was already like, I done fucked up. And then five years later in 2003, she's like, let me, I would be like, all right, let's pump the brakes. Is that a real picture from 2008? <laughs> because honestly, I, again, I'm not here to shame. But if that person was walking the street, it's so unnatural. It would be jarring. Here's what happens. Is I'll be honest. Is 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 if we're looking at these pictures right now. And Pimp, we could put them up in the app. Is in 1970s, she looks like a normal person. Then 1998, she looks out of control nuts. 2003, she gets even worse. But then 2008, somehow, she starts to look more like she did in 1970s. <laughs> she almost just comes full circle with her plastic surgery. Oh, my Lord, dude. That is... I, I want to know if that's real, that top left one. See, that's what I'm talking about. You go in a lake and you can get a brain-eating amoeba? Yeah. Come on, man, with the lakes. <laughs> Isn't there stuff that can go, like, up your pee hole? Oh, yeah. In the lake? Hell, yeah, dude, because when I was in, we filmed an episode in New Orleans, and uh, I was in the bayou, and I was so nervous about alligators, but about fucking amoebas and shit, and that I, I wore a condom through the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, so that's a remote control alligator, and they they I didn't know that that was they had that, and I literally had a. Did you see me run? I thought an alligator was coming at me, and when I ran to the boat, Joe thought that I was wearing a helmet, and he took that oar and he slapped me in the head with it, and there was nothing but my soft cranium underneath, and it, he hit me, and my literally my eyes went to black out. I almost went to black out, <laughs> oh and I almost fell back and underneath the water. Was in the he swamp. immediately like, "Oh my god, I'm yeah, so sorry." I said, dude, I was like, ah, I was like, that fucking hurt. And he goes, I thought you were in a helmet. I go, no. He goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here's what my prayers used to be. I used to say the our father, the hail Mary, the glory to be. And then I would, I would always, I don't know where I got taught this. I would always be asked. I would always silently ask for help. I would say to Jesus, I would say, please let there be peace on earth. I would say, please let there be peace on earth. I, please let me make the NBA. And I would always end it with, please let my parents lose the weight they need to lose to be healthy again. No, you didn't. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> our father. Who art in heaven. Okay, well, he's in heaven. Who art in heaven. Yeah. So is he, is he painting? No, I don't know. Who knows? I'll ever think about like how God, the all-knowing, like, you know, he knows the hour of your death. He's like, this motherfucker don't even know. He don't even know. His, Look at him out there. He don't even know. He the, got an hour. Silly. 
He got an hour. He's out there being goofy. He's out there being goofy. He's on. He's in. He's on IG Live. My, yeah. my man got an hour. He got an hour. <laughs> he doesn't even understand. Boom, bap. He's done. You don't even know. You got an and hour. I can't even reverse it. Can it reverse it? Let me work it. Yeah, put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. it. It's yeah, your my name is Damn Glamps. Yes, excuse me. <laughs> I noticed that you were doing eighty-one and a sixty-five. Yeah, would you like to explain yourself? Um, uh, good morning, officer. Mm. I um, it's 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 one o'clock. Good afternoon, uh, sir. Are you is something wrong? Are you on a substance of some some, some, sort, some sort? No, no, I, I, I'm just a little nervous because I don't know why I've been pulled over. Oh, you don't know why you've been pulled over. Do you want to take a guess? I mean, I think maybe I was going a little bit faster. A little than the bit faster than the speed limit. You were going 16 miles an hour faster. Uh, in relation to 65 miles an hour as the speed limit, you were going about 25% too fast. I totally understand. I um, majored in math. Uh, was there an emergency? I do have to get back home to Staten Island. Um, I haven't been with my uh, kids uh, for a few days, and um, I, do, I just would like to get Say home. Say no more. Get out of here. What's this on your front seat? That's, um... <laughs> smells like shit. I get so sneezy in the middle of the night. Tissues aren't enough. I take off my shorts and blow my nose into my shorts. I have no choice but to do that. <laughs> <laughs> who are you gonna... Who puts up with this? I, I'm told, I've never heard of this in my life. I'm told, I've been told many, 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 many times. You don't want to get out of bed. Okay, go I've ahead. I've been told many, many times by Jasmine, my girlfriend, my, my mother, my children. She's like, if women knew how disgusting you were yeah. and, and what it really was like living with you, none of these girls would ever put hard eyes on your Instagram pics. None of these girls would ever tell you that you're cute. She, she said, you are by far the most disgusting human being. Yeah. I've ever been around in my life. I, and I'm know, like, I, why don't you leave then? And she's like, because you cute. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is disgusting, dude. Yeah. Like I, just a little bit, my opinion changed of you just now. So we go to land, right? We go to land. We're on this little plane and it's bad out. But he was like talking to us sternly and he goes, okay, so we have a small issue. One of the wheels is not coming down. Loop, loop back around for the fourth yeah. time. For the third time, we went to go land. I was full. I'm not ashamed to say it. I was full crying. Were the other, other people, guys crying? Um, Q was trying to hold it together for me. Murray was visibly shaken. And then Joe, the lunatic that he is, he, he, he just had a he shirt starts, off running he up. He starts down. singing La Bamba. You know they all died in a crash. How long were you thinking you were going to die till? Uh, it was a matter of like five, ten minutes. And as you were landing, this has happened to me before. Did you see a bunch of fire trucks? I on was the just runway? about to say, loaded the runway That's with them. When you're and then, and then we touched down, and it, the wheel was down. So it was, it was <gasps> yeah. a normal landing. Yeah, normal. Yeah, yeah. So did, did they still take you in a stretcher? They're like this woman. Well, we crying. got. Well, the guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw a rainbow in Ireland. Uh, there's no way I could have known that, but. It was. It was I, do they? Do they? Do they have better rainbows than us? Probably. Without it, I mean, that's that's it. That's the home of the rainbow. That's the home that's of the, the rainbow. Leprechaun the pot of gold. There. Yeah. So, and then I pulled over, and and the picture of the the, the the rainbow wouldn't come out on the photo, as only as it, it was almost like it was as if to say you can only view this. It was a vampire rainbow. It was, dude. I ate a scone. I ate a rest stop scone in Ireland. Best scone I've ever had in my life. How old are these scones? She goes, uh, we just made them fresh, and I said. What do you mean you just made them fresh? She goes, we make them right here. We pop them in the oven and we made them fresh. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to know right now. Give me the, that scone. And I was messing with her. I said, I, if it's not fresh, I don't pay for it. She said, you have a deal. <laughs> I, I swear to God. Balenciaga. What the f is Balenciaga? Well, it's they're selling $2,000 trash bags. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. 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 What it's is disrespectful. This? Balenciaga, $1,790 uh, trash bag. Die. Now, is it a fashion trash bag or do they want you to put, like, is it a bag? It's supposed Pimp? to be a bag. Got it. That's yeah. just made like a trash bag. Yeah, ironic, I guess, yeah. Interesting, and kids are buying this off the shelves. Yeah, I've been doing that for years. It's called Hefty, okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's got a little scent in it, so my clothes don't smell. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. yeah. Does Balenciaga have a cinch sack? <laughs> yeah. 
I've Honestly, done that many I mean, times. This is this is making fashion out of homeless people's luggage. Really. <laughs> yeah, it's literally Zoolander derelict. Right, yeah. right, right. It is just ah, oh, it's so insulting. In the way, like you ever feel, have a real fat day and then you put on loose clothing and you feel skinny mini immediately? Like, yeah. What's up? Let's like, have, let's like I feel thin immediately. Let's eat. Yeah. Yeah. No. If this is what being Lizzo feels like, I love it. I sign me up. Yeah. Really spread it. Yeah. You're getting great. Oh, you're great. You did great. You think I'm good at this? I feel like you've. This isn't the first time you've applied a mask, tell you that much. First time I've ever applied a physical mask. I have applied masks emotionally, yeah. but physically, first time I've ever done wow, this. Wow, you really are thorough uh, and, and efficient. Thank you. When are you going to New Zealand? First two weeks of December. You want to come? I, 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 I You look like you. <laughs> it, 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 it looks like <laughs> I'm going to pass out. You look, you look very... You look like <laughs> you need a chaperone. <laughs> LSD, the drug LSD was created through M M MK Ultra, MK Ultra, which was, was the code name of an illegal human experimentation right. program designed and undertaken by the U.S. by the CIA. Is, are you serious? Yeah, MK this Ultra stuff is, is real. MK Ultra is a real thing, and they and they developed procedures and identified drugs such as LSD that could be used in interrogations to weaken individuals and force confessions. That is but, insane. Yeah, that, that, it, but they a lot of people think the conspiracy is that Charles Manson was under the influence of MK Ultra, and that's why. What happened, happened, and he's like the CIA scapegoat. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I, I, here's what I gather. Uh, there's a lot we don't know, probably. <laughs> a hundo. But board, I would invest in the metaverse, and, and of course, you know I'm Chrissy Crypto, but the board ape thing just seems like a scam. Does it not, Pimpy? That's it right I there. Don't know. That's the price of the house you bought. Yes, $1.29 million. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. So you could shelter your family... Indefinitely. Indefinitely, yeah. Well, you could have that cartoon ape on a digital file. Well, I'm going to have to break the news to my kids tonight. What does we'll that mean? An NFT restaurant opening in New York will serve up status with a side of seafood. What does that mean, though? Yeah, so, like, but my question is the NFT, like, is it is it an edible NFT? Or you're saying regular <laughs> membership token on the second? So you pretty much buy, like, whatever, the, like, uh, the board ape thing, and it acts as a ticket to the social club. That's gonna but be can I only use it once? No, no, you're a member if you have the... So if you own an NFT, you can go in. Yeah. But you could buy an NFT for $5, can't no, you? No, no, it has to be their NFT they minted. That's a... Like, the, hey. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, see, to access the club, members must have a Flyfish NFT, which is a unique digital asset stored on the blockchain and purchased using cryptocurrency. The company released 1,501 tokens this month, bringing in around $15 million. So... They're now saying <laughs> that you buy a token to even enter the restaurant, and they made $15 million before selling a piece of food. Oh, Glitch in the Matrix. Go to 114, Glitch in the Matrix. This is, like, real. What? Look. Watch. It's just that, frozen that up. That can't be real. No, it's real. That had, to be, that had to be someone edited that and put it up online. No, this happened, like, live on the air. People were, like, tweeting, like, what happened to Shaq? Did he have a stroke? Like, it was a whole thing. And then he just comes out of it. I remember seeing this, yeah. Yeah. Nobody's even noticing. What? How wild is this? Yeah. That looks like it's frozen. No. That looks like it's frozen. That'll look real. It looks like pause television. Really, one other thing, too, I just want to mention quickly about going to this wormhole is that they think also another real likely, likely thing that's going to happen is a lot of people will go to Mars. Like, that's going to just be a thing. And no, but in, in, in habit, habitate Mars. And then what's going to be interesting is when... But, but it'll, they'll come back. It's not like... They'll just want to put humans to live there, whatever. But what's interesting... Timeshare. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Timeshare. Oh, Marriott yeah. Bonvoy. Um, yeah. <laughs> over the next... But over, like, the course of, like, 100 years, because there's, like, 30 or 40% less gravity on Mars, people are going to become gonna a weak. lot taller. No, oh. taller. Because there's less pressure in their spine, so their spine expands. So the average human, the average male, in, not, in we're shorter because gravity's pulling us down. Yes. The average but male, they're, they're going to be taller and weaker though, too. A little weaker, but the average male in 1800 was five seven. Mm. They were saying if we lived on Mars for a hundred years, the average male by like 21. Hundred would be six seven. Wow! So that's why. So that and that's why. Like when a lot of people think they see aliens, they see very tall oh. beings because there's no gravity. 
they, they, it's, they think it's a gravitational thing. That's why everyone's... gravity makes you tall. They, so they have people... Why are we taller now, though? Is there less gravity? Huh? Why are we tall in the average nutrition? Tall? Nutrition. Okay. But, yeah. but, but they, they have actually... Peop, NASA has people now that... Li, uh, there's people out there now that are living for science, living in like zero, zero gravity <laughs> places to see what it does to their body. They, they just volunteer to be like, I'll do they it? Volu- they want to do it. Yeah. They want to give back to science. That's a lot. Interesting. I would do it. That's asking a lot. Hey, they, my guess, they don't got a lot going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit's not going good. They dropped out yeah. of community college, maybe dishonorably discharged from the military. They set them up with a fucking PS5. Yeah. All the seamless they want. If I could have Buffalo Wild Wings, if my career was failing, and you tell me I get as much PlayStation, Buffalo Wild Wings, and maybe they, maybe a, a, a prostitute every month. Right. You would do it. I would do it. You're What's dedicating your about- entire body to science. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. You become. Although, you know what would be annoying? They'd probably want you to be healthy. There's no chance I'm going to be on <laughs> yeah. a diet in yeah. zero gravity. Because, like, what's the point? I get to be fat as shit right. and, like, float around. Right. That would be You're sick. You're light as a feather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, my, my tits would be just up at all times. Yeah. It would feel awesome. <laughs> just perky Perky. Perked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah so, what's the point of living so in zero gravity? Gravity affects many parts of your body as you age. It compresses the spine, contributes to poor blood circulation, mm. and decreases your flexibility that's why i'm fucking mm, i'm gravity. i got aches and pains yeah dude. i've been i've been living in too much gravity <laughs> that's right um but uh, you ever do a zero grav what is zero gravity like a like a te- like sleep depth like a one of those no not the tanks? chambers no well that, that i mean that that you kind of feel like you float but you ever go into those chambers what and you just float yeah man it's wild is it a is it a therapeutic thing or it's just for fun i don't know <laughs> but I know Fatone did it And he just like literally floated around the room That's man. sick Like not one of those things where like the air blows you up right. Like he went into zero graph That's gotta be only fucking NASA has access I, to that I think right? so We got invited to NASA I wonder if they would have let us do it oh, right. Absolutely. NASA? Where is NASA? Is it in Houston, Houston I think? Alabama? No, no. Houston right? Houston we have a problem right? Yeah I think Houston, it's yeah. Houston Yeah. Shout out Tom Hanks Hola Fresca Hello Fresh Hello Do you guys know what Hello Fresh is? Hello Fresh? Yes. I Hel- love HelloFresh. I do too. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Uh, skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. It's America's number one meal kit, and that's why. And I'll tell you what else. It's not just meals anymore. No. Okay? It's basically an online grocer, and you can get sweets and treats and staples, and you throw them in your pack, in your, in your, in your, uh, in your cart, and Everything. they come with the meals now. Yeah, skip the, snow, skip the snowy schlep to the grocery store and stock up on snacks, sides, desserts and more at HelloFresh Market. That's what I love, HelloFresh Market. And they got HomeGate. Treat the fa- treat it like a pro, baby, for the, you know, while football season's going oh, sure. on. sure. Yeah, limited time only. We got the winning assortment of snacks, apps, and shareable sweets right at HelloFresh Market. With HelloFresh, eating well in the new year can be stress-free and delicious because 35 weekly recipes. They have Ooh. options you're looking for to help you achieve your goals. Choose calorie-smart or carb-smart recipes. Even customize and select your meals by swapping proteins or sides, upgrading, and all that good stuff. All you got to do is go to HelloFresh.com slash HeyBabe21. Use the code HeyBabe21. 21 free free meals vente y uno best deal in the biz free meals plus free shipping plus Hel- free shipping hellofresh.com slash heybabe21 use the code heybabe21 21 free meals plus free shipping you got one yesterday right you I got, got one yesterday, yesterday. that's me. why it's America's number, number one, one meal, meal kit, kit. <laughs> this is real this is real no, I don't okay. believe it's real I'm telling you this is real why how do you know it's because real because a friend of mine okay sent me this her two friends. By the way, a friend of yours is a friend of ours. Just yeah. want to Correct. let you know. So that. one of our yeah. friends, we'll all about it. <laughs> one of our about friends. It. These yeah. are I love to go to the two people party she knows. Do I have to? Yes. These do are I have two to whack people that she up? knows. <laughs> okay. Okay. These are two people that she knows, and they were in their apartment doing this. This is what happened. They moved out the next day. Okay. Oh, that's ridiculous. This is confirmed. What state? What state? Where is this? Houston. Do we know? That no, I, that don't, I don't know, unfortunately. Okay, okay. That I do yeah. not know. You don't know the state? I'm going to tell no, you. I could, I, could t- I could find Based out. Based off the apartment, I'm going to tell you that they're in New Jersey. Okay. <laughs> Christmas lights Could in the be f- Oklahoma City. Here so we go. It's, it's only 10 seconds. They're just fooling 10 around. 10 seconds. Let's go. And they, they notice this after the fact. Confirm you know these people. I know the person who sent me this knows them. Okay? And if the person I said sent me this, I've known 20 years, and she's one of my closest friends. Oh, watch closely. Okay? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> They didn't, they didn't, this is after the fact they saw this. They, they, when they looked back at the video, they saw this. I'm just wondering if she has a pineapple in front of her door. <laughs> <laughs> They're playing that game with their. Oh, you almost got it. You almost got it. I saw like a smoke. What was that? I missed it. What was that I around her I don't know. Watch it again. 
Tell me what you see. It was around her hand, right? Tell, tell she did play in that game where you dropped a ring on the hook, but yeah. Oh, the person walking by. They don't. That there are only two of them in there. They don't live with anybody else. No one else is in the house. Let me uh, let me break it down again. Pause it. Go a little bit more. They don't. That's in that whatever whatever that is. They I don't live, live with anyone. Nobody else was there, and they don't live with anyone. They moved out the next day. I want to zoom what in was on that? that. Yeah, man, you got to say prayers right after that, bro. You can't mess around what, with. What this. was the prayer? Can we say it out loud? I say, uh, yeah, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. It's like, um, just, it's like, from you, yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's for well, everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm it's for you. everyone. You I'm just, on your you, side. I love hummus. You, you, you <laughs> 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 Nothing to do with hummus. Okay, there's Arab Christians too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and they all say, say Allah. Allah is just a word for God, I wash God, my right? feet every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's very important though. Seriously. People Bro, need to wash guess where I learned it, Rami. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you don't. Yeah. You don't. You only wash your balls, ass, and bits. Yes, it's true. You that. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. No, I'm um, just basically like you know asking for protection from God, and then you're you're basically anything evil that comes from the devil, if you believe in that, obviously. And you know, there's well, babe, because you the whole thing is you don't know if it's good or bad, right? And you don't have to move that's out. Bad. You don't have to move out. I've had experiences where I've been in my house, um, and all of a sudden I hear like knock, like over time like over a week heard like knocking like teasing then i heard that it was the front police. front door like click clack opening and then i heard the door close and i thought it was my stepdaughter's you know before i got divorced and i was looking around i was like yo what was that and i was like elise are you there like just nothing it's the door and then it's like laughing and then more knocking bro i shut the whole place down just turned on there's a particular you know recommendation that my teacher tells me you just play this particular surah this particular chapter i had a blasting all throughout and you hit every corner in the house it was gone gone never never wait a second never wait a second anything. so you're saying if you had a house like so let's say you live in a Let's say you live. It doesn't matter where you live. You got know. an apartment. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, if you had a three floor house, right, and there were apparitions going around yeah. like that, could you stay in that house alone, like at yeah. night, like just and because because a ghost, you don't care about a ghost. You're like then I don't you, it, like that wouldn't scare you because if you were more scared of like a real person. I'd be in a La Quinta yeah. Inn in four, thirty minutes after this. Hilarious. With all no, my clothes. I would immediately start doing what I was told, like to do what happens before. Like you have to read a particular chapter. So it's worked. It's absolutely works. And you have to do it in every corner, like literally every corner of the house. I had a blasting through the speaker like on repeat. <laughs> Listen and to I me. was going through every corner and it was gone. Call your friends. And I have no problem yeah. doing it. Get them back in there. Get get the Quran. Get, Get them back the, in there. Have them start reading the prayers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This thing is out of here. It'll be gone. They, they this, wild, way, this, that, yo, this is wild. It gives me it gives me chills, bro. This is so. That is a full apparition. Full apparition. Is that, is that, My that, whole body's filled with chills, bro. This I know, is so crazy. Oh, dude, when I saw that, seriously, the same thing. Right now, I got them. I got goosebumps yeah, all over yeah, my body. This is weird. <laughs> 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 Could God, be. I, guys, I got goosebumps yeah. in this, and I got a little bit of a sore throat and a fever. Yeah. I got it. And my O2 sounds 90. Oh, God. And actually, my, my stamina is down after I saw this. The apparition is a pineapple shirt on. I can't smell or taste anything. <laughs> yeah. um, but no, wait a second. seriously. You just, oh, my God. Did this God, go viral so somewhere? Like, did this, this was texted to me. Texted. I Yo, don't know if they posted it. This so came. I don't, I don't, scary, I don't know if any eyes have ever seen this except... I, I maybe shouldn't have probably put up their video of them, <laughs> you know, on a national forum. But like, I couldn't, I could not believe this. They I, moved I, out. I, the I watched this hundred. This is yes, yes. The next. Well, here's day. the thing: if you don't deal with it, they can actually follow you. You know, so it's like, mm. it's about, it's about like taking care of it. So that know? ghost could just go with them to the next house. They can go wherever they want. That's the whole thing. Is they that attach onto you? They could. Yeah, they could. Well, you're really? not even supposed Easily. to see a psychic that attaches to you too. Let You're me not supposed you. to see yeah, a bro. Yeah. Fuck these psychics, bro. All of them. These tarot cards, all that shit. You don't know the whole point. This I hate these fucking ghost hunter shows and all these things that they're, they're all doing. Fake. I can't fucking stand it. It's called the unseen for a reason. You don't know what it is. These assholes are walking in like there was a nine year old daughter. Yeah. This girl is stuck here. Hey, come on out, Denise. Come on out. It's okay. Say something, scrap bitch. You don't know if it's a demon disguised as a nine year old girl, bro. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Oh, shit, yeah. dude. Shut the. Fuck I wow. never thought about that. Wow. You're such I mean, a I mean, I show <laughs> Demon in Disguise. <laughs> it's, that's the name. It's called a nine year, it's called the unseen for a that's reason, bro. We, 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 we. You ever think about your uh your 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 wake and what who'll be there and what will be said? Yeah, I always think like like when I like if I died. I wish I could see it. Like would I would like would I make the New York Post? 
You know what I mean? Would they write an article? <laughs> right. Would they say, oh, you know, can we, or would you just be like, eh, you know? Right. Like, what do you think? You'd be big news. Oh, you'd be huge news. I think you, anyone, like, that's in the public that dies will probably register somewhere. No, but I mean, you'd be like a big, like, it'd be a big day. You think so? If you went, to, I think so, right? Yeah, Him? of course. Like a huge Especially day. New York, yeah. Yeah. You think, like, in other places they wouldn't care, really? Like, would they care in Sri Lanka? They go wild. Are they gonna maybe have a, in Sri Lanka, maybe. Sri Lanka. Yeah, yeah. A couple, a couple, a couple of days on Twitter trending, and that's about it. That's it. No, but hey, listen. But what happens at the services, though? Who shows up? Who comes out of the woodwork? Who speaks? What do they say about you? What do you look like? How you dressed? What I would do, well, I've, I'd love to see what DeRosa would post. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want to get. I would want to get buried in a baseball uniform. Really? Just dress me up like a, the New York Yankees pinstripes. Just like, a, like pinstripes. A, the old one, like a Babe Ruth. Yep. Like the, yeah, yeah, something yeah, nice like yeah. that. What about you? What would you want to go in? Sweatshirt, sweat, <laughs> hoodie, jeans. Yeah, uh, I'd say hoodie, jeans. I mean, throw me in there in pajamas, man. Yeah, I'm resting. Yeah, right. My, I have an aunt. Put me in a nice flannel, two piece pocket on the front. You want that? Do you want to get buried with anything? A phone, a something, laptop. Yeah, probably one of the one of is a figurine or something. Throw me in there with the phone, go off a bed, and then uh, I don't know, maybe some photos. I want to get buried with like a you know a, a nice pizza pie. That's nice. <laughs> Put it in there. Yeah, you know, give me something. Right. I have an aunt who she tells. I I think I might have said this on podcast before. She like will bring it up like at least once a year. Say hey, remember when I die, take my shoes off. If you if you bury me with my shoes on in the coffin, I'll haunt you. Like that, like out of nowhere, she'll be cutting like a piece. What, of What's her deal? Cake. Why does she think that? She's 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 always had uh, pain in her feet. You know, she's always had messed up feet. So she said she tasked me with this when I was about ten years old that I must remember to take her shoes off. What, are you gonna do it for real? Uh, if I'm if if I die first, yeah. Uh, if I die second, yeah, she dies first. You're really yeah. gonna do it? I will not forget to do that. Yeah, well, it's been ingrained in my head. But did she let anyone else in the family know? Because then you're gonna look like a psychopath taking her shoes off. Yeah, and everyone's gonna be like, "Leave her alone!" And she you're like, me, "She needed this." It's my, it's it's mine and crazy. hers little thing. Okay. Do you guys have any requests for yours? Um, I think I want a party, man. Yeah, party. Just, yeah. Can I sell ads? Celebrate. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That'd be Pam, sick. I swear to God, you own the documentary rights of the funeral. You, you open up the casket, it's just manscaped. I'm gonna force the priest to do <laughs> I'm gonna force the priest to do Hello Fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this, this this guy, Jesus Diaz Bito, he got buried sitting up like in his like he's dead. Yeah, that's his funeral. That, uh, this, he, that person is dead in that, in that photo yeah. he's dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's dead. In that he, photo he's dead. He wanted this, this on purpose. A, this is a list of people who are dead outside the coffin at their own funeral. The thirteen yeah, strangers' funerals where the corpses attended their own ceremony, not in a coffin. Yeah, <gasps> he sat he sat up with this. No. Yep. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, this old black woman is. She has a she has a cigarette in her dead hands. Yes, and she's holding a glass. She's of, drinking a bush beer. A bush <laughs> beer in a in a wine glass. Yeah, May May Burbank, who died of cancer in early June 2014, pictured seated at a table at the Charbonnet Funeral Home in New Orleans. Wow, she looks like. She looks like like a, a wax. What do you call it, Madame Ma, Tussauds? Yeah, Ma, Madame Tussauds. This is the way to do it. We'll bring the couch and the signage. Oh, yeah. that's funny. <laughs> that'd be, if we die together, we could that's just have. Funny. If we die together, we'll just sit on the couch, just in the middle of a pod. All right, who go? Who's next? There you oh, go. Oh man, Lionel Batiste. Oh, he's there it's too. A big thing in New Orleans. Yeah, it seems it's like. at the same funeral home. Charbonnet. Wow. Did not want people looking down at him. Wow. Let's see, Mickey Easterling, another New Orleans. What is she doing? What's going on in New Orleans? I don't know. They believe in all that stuff, like that spiritual voodoo stuff. Interesting. Billy Sandley, no picture. Willie Stokes is hilarious. Oh, <laughs> oh he's been shot, oh my God. shot and killed on the steps of a motel. No. They propped him up in a driver's seat in all his right. car coffin looked <laughs> like a Cadillac. They made the coffin, they made the coffin <laughs> into a Cadillac. They cut off the back piece so he could sit up in it like a car. They put on a steering wheel, which, by the way, they could have done a better job with that steering wheel. Yeah. And then they put wheels on the bottom of it. This is a dead man driving a Cadillac coffin. Yes. How does he go in the ground? Dude, I don't know. His own mini Cadillac Seville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. 
Oh shit! David Morales is being—he's buried on a Do, motorcycle, doing what he loves best. He's embalmed, embalmed, sitting on his beloved motorcycle, but he's in the racing position. <laughs> yeah, he is crouched down, revving, and his head is—that actually looks real. Yeah, that looks. like... How do they get him to stay like that? They must have him glued, super glued to the seat. I don't know. Is that not weird though? Oh my god! Oh Come my on. god! There's Come a on. paramedic. Wait, what's his name? Paramedic. Edgardo uh, Velasquez, Velasquez. Was bombed in his ambulance uniform in the ambulance. He's sitting in the ambulance. Let me ask you a question. Go, scroll up to the guy with the thing. Uh, is that for life? Is he embalmed for life? Yeah. So he's going to be like basically like a piece of um, uh, like when you have a moose's head on the wall. What's it called? Taxidermy. T taxidermy. Yeah. He's basically like a piece of taxidermy. Like like if that was my loved one, like like his aunt or his wife or whatever, she props him up in the living room and then he just stays there in that form forever? Well, no, I think they probably bury him. Oh, you do? Yeah, because once you embalm someone... Embalming cannot completely halt the natural process of decomposition. In fact, it's against federal law to suggest that embalming can completely stop decomposition. So you're committing a crime if you even suggest it. <laughs> embalming is one method funeral directors have to ensure that human remains are able to be interacted with by the public. You know, um, I think maybe uh, embalming could prevent decomposition. Maybe. May well, I mean, did I just... I was going to say, you make, say it again and I'll call the police. You're going to make a citizen's arrest? I'll, I'll make a citizen's arrest right now. Like, I just don't understand. Like, after like a couple of, oh, so they he, they don't stay long. No, I think just for the fume. But then you're going to buy that motorcycle, put him on the motorcycle just for a couple hours? Oh, I think, well, I think maybe it was his motorcycle. Okay. I mean, it's, yeah. This guy is dressed in full boxing gear. Yeah, Christopher Rivera Amora. Standing in the ring, gloves on and head bowed, Amora could have been preparing for the fight of his life if he wasn't dead. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> now, are you York. following um, uh, uh, Ukraine? Uh, like, are you, like, kind of interested? Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested in, I guess... No, I am and I'm not. Because what what, I don't believe... I, don't, I just don't believe what uh, we're being told is... The truth, I don't think that Ukraine is winning like the news says they're winning. I kind of don't either. But then, yeah. they, then, then Russia leaves Kyrgyzstan in these cities, and I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe it's true. I think that, I do think that, yeah, in, in, it's, it's a complicated thing, I think, for Americans to understand because, like, Ukraine, like, you know, like, Kiev is, like, that's, like, part of, like, Russian, like, foundation. Like, they, right. this, this is, it's, like, a sacred thing that they are together. To some of them. To some of them. Right. Like, one of them, Putin. Pooty. Real old Pooty. Yeah. They really, although, what's his name? Uh, uh, oh, um, Zelensky got a new jacket, huh? Yeah, Zelensky got a new Real, jacket. Is that a and, North Face? And Zelensky what am I looking is, at? like, not dead. I mean, we should be celebrating every, I mean, this guy, everybody thought he was going to be murdered immediately. And I got to say, he put on some weight, though. He did. That's interesting, right? In a war where you're supposedly being the most sought-after guy, you're getting fatter. He yeah. gets diabetes. He's now. clearly eating his feelings, <laughs> yeah, this guy. Okay. Dude, um, I, um, what's I, on your mind? This is a cry for help. Go ahead. Well, I mean, I just, yeah, the, 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 the Russia-Ukraine stuff, I've stopped. I, I don't really watch. I don't pay attention. Not that I don't pay attention. I think we have, a, you know, we have an obligation as comics to pay attention a little bit, but I don't try not to get sucked into it. We, I remember seeing a kid get dropped off at school when we were probably like five or six, and his mom goes, mm, on his mouth, and I was like, I mean, I want to bang your mom, but that's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that's, it, it's, it's like, I don't know. I kissed. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> well, that embrace is weird. Oh, Tom Brady just Tom Brady kissing too many people. That's funny that that picture down there. That guy just holding his head. Uh, <laughs> who's the old man? It's his dad. Um, Ask yeah. Julian Edelman. I, 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 Tom I, ever kiss you on the lips, buddy? I would kill for. I would. You know what? I would like I to get kissed on the lips by Tom Brady. Me too. Me too. I don't think awesome. parents and younger kids is out of line. I don't think. I think. I. I. I think. I kiss my baby on the lips. My Jesus <laughs> Christ. I mean, that's ridiculous. Whoa. That's, that's got to be photoshopped. That's photoshopped. That's got to be photoshopped. That's, that's they're, they're literally locked. <laughs> that, that can't Bill be Belichick real. Bill is smushed into his face. <laughs> that can't be real. Dude, I, heard, I heard Tom Brady makes that with his son to Chubby Clementine, the song. <laughs> Have you heard that? It's crazy. Is that weird? 
Yeah. I mean, I kiss my daughter. I kiss my older daughter on the lips sometimes. It depends. Usually it's on the cheek or I just give her a hug. Ravi, you were like, no, 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 no. Not at all? Not in your family at all? No, 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 no. Just on the, like. When you wait, were a baby. They when <laughs> kids. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did, does the video get paused or is he there that long? <laughs> Why? That, that looked like it was the beginning of CPR. Then he sucks his nipple. <laughs> <laughs> then he teabags him. <laughs> what? The wait, wait, wait. This is this video. They're they're actually talking about the kiss in the video. Is that why this is a video to begin with? It's funny that he's shirtless and being massaged when it happens. Like that, it, it doesn't it doesn't help. The this atmosphere doesn't help. Yeah, he's one getting oil spread on him at the time. Yeah. <laughs> also, it's weird. It's, it's, this is why I came back to the NFL. <laughs> Just I was like, you never kiss him on the mouth anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, sh- I love that he's showing it to three black guys. And they're like, these. he's like, that's why people shit. <laughs> that's what they say. He goes, that's... It's two, uh, those two black guys in De Niro. Look at that. Hey, hey, that guy was part of the Kremlin, I think. <laughs> you, know, hug, you know, but yeah, not in the mouth and not saying? for that long. Too long. Too long. Like romantic long. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was scrolling Instagram. And I came across an ad for a place that I've gone to. It's a bo- it's called Bodega. It's a streetwear store and sneaker store in Boston, out right? Of Boston, yeah, right. And um, I've I've patronized them, and uh, I saw some things. I went to their website and I bought a couple things, and I and I got mailed here. And one of the things I bought was a hat. And I got the hat, and it was like a fifty dollar hat. And I tried it on, and there is no way an, a human being can wear this hat. <laughs> Okay, I have it. I have it. I'm going to show it to you. You mean to tell? I said, okay, I'm going to initiate a return. <laughs> and I went on to Instagram. I initiated a return. They gave me a ticket number and everything. And I tried to return it, and they never ever responded to me again. You tell me. <laughs> okay, you tell me. How is this supposed to be a hat that somebody can wear? <laughs> what head was this cut for that you're selling this and then you're going radio silent on the return request <laughs> whose head does this fit even if you're saying this is the new style younger kids are wearing it like this it's that's supposed to be a shallow hat you wear it to the back maybe okay fine who is wearing this hat okay I, would I, you put it on were you like <laughs> did you try every I, 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 I swear to god that i looked sucks. at my mirror and i go there's no way for me to even do anything that with this. Sucks. <laughs> i swear to god oh my god and it, it was you look it was 45 dollars plus tax and shipping and then i i initiated i went on i said i bought this i want to return it they said look for an email to bodega and it never came and they, they won't pick up the phone nothing try that Did on you do it? <laughs> you look like your special needs, special needs. i mean nothing no offense but you Did, almost look like you don't really care if it fits or not but do you think that <laughs> you this look, <laughs> you, look, you look like you're in the movie The Ringer. <laughs> the, oh, yeah. <laughs> the f- ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> the f- did we get ice cream? Happy <laughs> welcome the one and only Omarosa. This is the whole interview, though. Oh, okay. What does that mean? We're talking have a nice conversation. Let's have a conversation. Omarosa. Oh, no, I know how to chill. Okay. But I will not be disrespected. Okay. <laughs> this is not the time for you to look for your moment. I invited you here. Oh, I know how to find my moment. Which is I understand. Wrote the book. We're going to talk switch. about the book. All right, well, let's oh get my to God, it. This oh, my is God, this is skin like- crawling. <laughs> That your appearance was bad on the show. <laughs> oh my god, dude, Kenny you should right win an here. Emmy for your appearance. <laughs> no, Kenny has the camera right here. This is the cl- up close camera. Would you like it to be seen? The book comes out in October. What did I just do? Oh my god. I feel uncomfortable now. Nothing, right? right here. Okay. Listen, we're going to start this over. Please help me welcome my guest, Omarosa. The 
clip, which I was one of the reasons, excuse me, you were the reason that I watched Celebrity Apprentice. And the reason being is that you are a person who... Oh, did Wendy Williams, like, was that a professional move on her part? I guess trying to, like, let me save this. Clearly Trump sees something like that from you, which is why he invites you back Mm -hmm. over and over. I understand that there could possibly be a show that you all will be working on together, possibly. But I did the Celebrity Apprentice because it was about charity. And I work with kids in Compton who don't have an opportunity to have a voice, to fight for themselves. They face crime, they face violence, and they don't have people to look up to. So I went on that show to tell people about Positive Vibrations, my charity in Compton, California. Okay, well, that was... that. Wow, it's weird. They like kind of like, are doing a good job good at job putting it behind them. Because yeah. you, you know that's bubbling under the surface right now. Did she flip out at some point, Wendy Williams? I don't know, but have you seen when she passed out on the show? Who oh, did? Yeah, who she- did? You ever seen Wendy Williams? Pa- Can you, Wendy Williams, Wendy Williams, Williams show? Oh, dude, with the Statue of Liberty how it on? This is wild. Nuts, dude. This what, is a what wild What is Wendy one. Williams? Why is she? Who is? She, what does she Wendy do? Wendy Williams was a, a broadcaster, giant, giant DJ, DJ in New York. Oh yeah, like, oh, oh the Wendy Williams. Like right, right. back in that, but she of course, was, watch. This is her on her show, like just. But she was just a DJ. That's what she was, and she. Well, this no, is, she was yeah. like um, uh, like celebrity black yeah. star correspondent. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not allowed to say that, but she was. She's that big, right? How you doing? Halloween uh, costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. Now, you never saw that before? Dude. Oh. Oh, and then she it's, comes back. Dude, can I tell you something? Every Wendy Williams rerun is wild. Like, it is truly still the most compelling <laughs> show. She's okay, so we can laugh, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Because that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> she dropped like one I of almost those, just out of, on my own. She yeah, dropped yeah. like one of those balloon men outside a car dealership. <laughs> <laughs> that whole entire dance she did was yeah. insane. It's insane. It looks fake. It yeah. looks fake. No one was more entertaining than her when she was trying and when she wasn't. Can you go back to that? What what she did happen? Back, what happened? She had like a blood, you know, whatever. Later, I, if she stroke. Has, um, it's not Graves. Graves disease. disease. It's something like that. Is she back Which, doing her show now? No, it she won't come back. But, yeah, her whoa, whoa, but you're in the crowd. And have you spoken this, to her or no? I have no, but I feel weirdly um, like I dodged a bullet with her um, because. Uh, uh, sorry, I just went like. Not because I was supposed to work with Alec Baldwin. Um, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I did have a show with him a couple of years ago. I was like, dodged a bullet. Oops. Um, but uh, no, she, uh, Sherry Shepard was also a guest host. She yeah. was the week before me and the week after me. And someone was like, oh, should Sherry Shepard like, replace you if you don't come back? And she goes, I don't know. I would not watch her host my show. Like, I didn't wow. watch any of the episodes. Yeah, like, she was, like, throwing shade at the people guest hosting Listen, her show. I, I know, Jesus. didn't, like, Michael Rappaport then host a week? Like, yes. random, she had random people they hosting. are a similar yeah, yeah, yeah. vibe, you know? So right, right, right. She, the shit she just throws out is so great. Like, also, I wasn't allowed to say when I was on the show because when she would talk about the Britney Spears thing, she would go, like, death to them all. Death to all of them. That was her quote about, like, all the conservators that were, like, holding Britney Spears captive. Oh, yeah, yeah the like, Arrest them. She would, like, call to, like, if you see them in public, like, kill them. Like, she's <laughs> just, like, fu- fe- she's fearless in a way that, like, no one on television is. Shout out Wendy Williams. Shout out Wendy Williams if you're oh, watching dude. and we know that you are. She, I gotta say, though, imagine her in the audience and she goes into that into that thing. Like, because the look of horror, she had a look, she wasn't, like, confused or, like, I'm gonna pass out. She had a look of horror right. in yeah. her eyes and it almost looks crazy and then she just drops straight down. Yeah. It seemed like she w- ha- got it, ha- got control of it Yeah, and then... But, but, <laughs> it looks, it looks like an SNL sketch. It looks like an SNL sketch. <laughs> it's br- it's truly I brilliant. swear to God, I can't she get over this. She I think about what happened. I think she No, com- no, 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 no. Look, if you're in the... I think she comes on <laughs> after the commercial break oh. and it's like legitimately fine. The fact that she's dressed as the Statue that, of Liberty the makes it extra hard. It's so funny. It's unbelievable. Did you picture the Statue of Liberty collapsing too? It's funny. She, she drops, overheated in her costume. She drops straight down. And I'm back. I love that when she fell, they probably went right to like a MyPillow commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, first of all, that is not a hot, that is that's not too hot of an outfit. Like it's, a, that it's causing yeah, her Yeah, it's to, like actually looks breathable. She's having it looks heat fine. stroke in a light garment. Yeah, but, you're like, oh, in an air, well air conditioned studio in Midtown what's Manhattan. W- what's wild is that that looks so scary and they they just shoved her back out into the commercial. Right break away. And chalked it up to 
It was just from the heat from the outfit. Like, how do they know she didn't get a cat scan? It'd be funny no. she came in with like the Statue of Liberty crown tilted. Like, yeah. She's like, oh, fine. They're like, this usually happens right before the show, not yeah, during yeah, the not show. During, yeah. It's insane that she drops straight Our down team. instead of forward. You've got to watch some. The flight was in like three hours. So like, I got there just, you know, internationally. You have to get like check in two hours before. Like I was at the last moments. And I got in, and I went to Edinburgh. And I did not book my hotel in Edinburgh, Scotland, until I was in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, got Wi-Fi on the plane, and then booked the hotel. And I had the best time ever. It's, is that They call that flying by the seat of your pants, I think. That literally what I was doing. Oh, I was yeah. flying by the seat wow. of my pants. And I went there with just underwear, socks, and one pair of pants and one sweatshirt. Because I was like, who gives now, what, a shit? What was the strategy there? Because I'm like, because what I like now with traveling, it's like I got to bring 100 pairs of shoes. It's all stressful. But now you land and you have to spend valuable uh, Scotland time going f to buy underwear. No, I had underwear and socks. I, as long as I have underwear and socks, I said, what, how dirty are someone's pants really going to get? Right. How dirty is your sweatshirt really going to get? That's another tip my mom would always say is travel light. Pack light. Always travel light. If Traveling with just a book bag, the amount of stress it drops is insane. I don't give a f get on the plane. I don't care about your overhead space. I don't care about your overhead space. Yeah. I got a carry on. That's all I got. You don't care about overhead space. I got a book space. bag. Yeah. I don't need to I don't need the overhead space. Take it. Put your fucking kid up there. Wow. I don't give a shit. You midget. That's, that's unbelievable. That, I, that is a <laughs> long flight to book though for just you have to be home by when? Monday? I'd be home by Monday, but when you're coming back from Europe, I left Monday at twelve. I got home Monday at like three PM because you get six hours back. And was it a good trip? A gr are you kidding me? The best trip. I had a great – as a matter of fact, I because I knew my kid's mom would be mad at me, I did a FaceTime with my daughter from my hotel room. She thought I was home. I was in Edinburgh, Scotland. Wow. With, like Harry Potter, running around like fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> wow. You ever do anything like that? No, he's a pussy. Are you a pussy, though? You Wait. call me a pussy? Look, I just got a skin tag removed from my ass. Who did it? See that cut? The dermatologist. Wow. It hurts, though. You it's infected. How did they get you rid of that? it? Yeah. They they uh, lasered Froze it, it off. No, I thought I thought that I thought, electric thing. Like, yeah, I thought I had genital. I thought I had a genital wart on my ass, uh, but it's a skin tear. <laughs> isn't a isn't a genital wart? He's got them all over on the genitals. No, but genital warts so, spread. Here's a phenomenon really? with genital spread. warts. This is a phenomena. When or fa what is it a phenomena or phenomenon? It's phenomenon. A phenomenon. 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 So a phenomenon about uh, genital warts uh, is you can get them on your peepee. -pee. That's a fun word. Get shout out your, phenomenons. Shout out phenomenons. phenomenons. You can get them on your peepee, -pee, but then they can come out on your butt. But it doesn't mean you got anything on your butt, but they could just pop out on your butt. somebody else's peepee -pee so that had them was near your butt. Don't try to pretend like you don't know how you got them back there. Wait, if someone has them on their peepee -pee and they touch something, they transfer from the peepee -pee to the other thing? Yeah. That's how those work? Yeah. How do you get them in the first place? You know. Genital warts? I, I don't know. H. P V. That's it. Sign That's the cause. That Human is. papillomavirus. Sign we all have it. it. We all do have it. Most I think a lot of people have it. If you, you don't, don't have HPV, you ain't really fucking. Right, right, right. <laughs> if you don't have HPV, you're just not someone I want to know. Yeah. yeah. Give me HPV. Yeah, you know me. You give me HPV. HPV. Yeah, you know me. Who fucking at night? Who, Who fucking at night? You got a hundred dollar bill with your hands up. You got a fifty dollar bill. Yo, make noise. Yeah, all the da, 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 all the sales. All the goddess sales. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So you so you had to go uh, there and you did what you do? Did you pull just the cheek out? Did you that would over? actually probably be like one of your worst punishments then on the jokers. If some if you your punishment was they have you have to book a trip right now and go. <laughs> oh, I think you're gonna, you gonna say get genital warts. <laughs> well, you will, you will, you will, you will, you yeah. will, you will. On no, the trip. Because that, that that's because I think you're a very calculated you want to plan, which is great. But I think if you tried, just try to do a trip, not plan, see what happens. We just ex just we, accept. It. We tried uh, for years, and they kept denying us doing it. We might try it again, but we, we pitched for years a punishment called a bus to Tampa. We, we were going to take one of the guys and <laughs> sit on a bus with them, like, and then just sh quickly handcuff them to the seat and then just get off and that bus was going all the way to Tampa and they just had to literally sit on the bus. We had the bus like we we're going to have it cammed up and they just sat on the bus for the entire ride to Tampa. And the, what about so eating far. or drinking or peeing? I know. They couldn't do any of it. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's probably why you can't do it. Yeah. How are they going to piss? I didn't think about that. 
Well, maybe the, the point was that then when they got there, there was going to be another bus to bring them back. So <laughs> we we're going to have to film it, but we, we couldn't have a crew. So we're going to have to company like rig up a whole entire bus. You could do like a bus to Baltimore and the alliteration helps a lot. Bus to Baltimore. Bus to Balti. The Balt bus. The Balti bus. And then you don't need to worry about pissing and eating. Yeah, but it's them. not three hour drive, four hour drive. We wanted it to be excruciating. Well, Remember put fu- something on the bus that makes it worse. Okay. This is okay. It. These are Did they have made. in LA? And you looking for a writing job? Well, I mean, I'm. I'm doing pretty good. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I know what I'm doing. This guy's going to Sicily. Sicily. F- Fungwa bus lines. Remember Fungwa bus lines Absolutely in New York? Not. Absolutely not. You don't not. remember Fungwa bus it. lines? Never heard no. of this in my so life. So Fungwa bus lines. You're Let me tell you about up. this place. Fungwa bus lines. Fung-wa they went out of business. Google it. Go Google Fungwa, F-U-N-G, Hua. W-A-H bus lines. They would go from any city's Chinatown. Holy shit. Any, any but, so New York City's Chinatown to... Washington D.C.'s Chinatown to Boston's Chinatown to Baltimore. Any they would go to from Chinatown to Chinatown for one dollar and ninety nine cents. Was you could get a you could get a, how do you how it was is it? Megabus Megabus did that? But oh, this was right. but it was the precursor was Fungwa bus lines. But and, what's the business model there? It was only between Boston and New York. That's it. Ninety six to twenty fifteen. What was the price? And, and a, a brief period of twenty fourteen, it was shut down for safety violations. Yes. <laughs> so they would have <laughs> so by they would have bus drivers. A brief period. A brief yeah. Shutdown. Nobody. Nobody. There were no um like two dozen a, buses. Yeah. You you wouldn't have to. You wouldn't have to. Uh. Uh. You know. No rules. No union rules. It was all Chinese immigrants coming over. So they would have them drive. At 40 hours in a row The wow. buses were Disgusting I took it to the Boston Comedy Festival once It was the most Nerve wracking wow. experience of my, I'd rather take fentanyl Than get on Fungwa bus lines Wow well, that's, that's Look at this 2005 really... One of them caught fire 2006 they, One of them flipped over 07 uh, Lost two of its rear wheels yep. uh, Oh 07, my god no, this, this 07 uh, Hit a guardrail On the turnpike uh, 07 again It got stuck in a concrete barrier oh, 07 was a terrible year For Fungwa for bad, yeah. 2008, uh, they, were, they were struck by a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> What's worse, Fungwa bus signs or I, the dump truck? I get now why it's a dollar ninety nine. But no, no, but really though, how do wow. they sustain? How is that a business model? No, I don't think it was. I think it was like probably like some subsidized There's, thing. There from has China. to be wow. something. There has to be some way to sustain that business. It can't. It can't be a dollar ninety nine. I don't know. Yeah, how did Megabus do it? Megabus did the same thing in Europe. I took it when I was in Europe. I took Megabus from where I was staying in the London, and it had to been. It was. I think it was. It was. Not, it was ninety nine cents. It was a pound. One pound to get to London, and I never understood how they did it. I, I don't even remember what it was. Maybe they upcharged for the bathroom or something, or there was like. I don't I was, remember what it I mean, was. It's, it's next to free. It is free. Like anyone, I mean, literally a person that doesn't own a home, like anyone could get on it for a dollar. How long does it take to get to Boston from here? Three and a half hours. So no. I guess they figure if they if they can do no three and a half yeah. four hours. You think it takes more than three and a half? What Close do you think? Of five. No, no. What are you, no, oh, are you leaving that. Fridays at four p.m.? <laughs> <laughs> Zing! I also at some point it's like, fuck your gadgets, fuck your fuck your improvements. Why don't you just learn to live with what you got? Mm. Not everything needs to be improved radically all the time. Even the iPhones, it's like. Just pick a version and stay with it. Yeah. Just stop after 13 stop, yeah. or 12. Whatever. Just shut. Not everything two needs one, to be constantly updated. Do one every improved. five years. How about that? Yeah. I mean, or like, why does this urge to always get better at stuff? Like, just be content with what you have. Like, every generation's got to come. And how do I be the best? How do I be number one? Why do you have to be number one? Do you know how much pressure comes with being number one? You tell every every coach, tells every athlete, you want to be number one. Well, I got to be number one. Why? 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 Why do you have to be number one? Explain it. Explain the benefits of being number one, other than unbelievable pressure, a an exorbitant amount of people now trying to gun for you because they want to be number one, and then your ultimate fall from number one, making you inevitably depressed because we can only really try to stay in the moment. And if we're being coached all the time, stay in the moment, stay in the moment, stay in the moment. Well, there will be a moment where you will fall to number two and you'll be depressed. Had you never been number one in the first place, you would be happier, healthier, and probably alive longer because nobody wants to take what you have. Heavy lie the crown is a, is a, is a saying that exists for a reason. You don't actually want the crown. When you try to come at me with your bullshit about what something you are mimicking that you heard some professional speaker say on TikTok 
about how you need to be the best and how you got to be number one and how I don't buy it. You know why? Because yeah. I'm happy with who I am. I'm saying my meat vessel that I'm carrying around today is enough. Yeah, I, 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 I took in everything you said. When you go to other countries, okay, United Kingdom, they don't act this way. It does give you a motivation, though, the striving for being the best. That kind of helps your, like you excel in the journey. It's a motivator. But and then I, and then there's also impure motivation. It's not necessarily impure, but people do some stuff for money. Uh, you got me. I don't know why I'm thinking of fighting now. Fighters striving to be the best and the short shelf life and the fall from grace. But you could apply it to anything. But I'm thinking of of, of like UFC people and stuff like but that. But you got to strive to. You got to be careful. If you want to strive to be the best. That's okay. But it has to be the best version of yourself, sure. not better than someone else. You have to be the best you. Well, that's not how sport at least works. Well, maybe if, individual Olympic sport. If I was king of the world, I'd cancel sports. Really? Yeah. Really? It's out. What? Why? Especially you're a big fanatic. I love sports. I just... Um, you don't think it's a... Please expound. I think that it's dra- dramatic. It's impressive. It's competition. It's, you no. know, spirited. It, no. it makes money. It drives, definitely, you know, helps money, cities. evil. Mm, true. Competition, evil. Okay. So talk to me then. Tell me why. Because. Entertaining. Watching people do something at a high level. Competing. I think we're past it. As a people. I don't think we need to do it anymore. I you think, a lover of sports. You're being serious. I think it's just the same thing over and over and over again. You win the championship, then a month goes by, and then you create this fake thing again, and then win a thing that never mattered in the first place again. It's con- it's just a waste of your time. You sh- you should be instead of playing sports, why not have all those athletes get out there, get barefoot, plug into the sand, right? Get on a higher consciousness. Let's get on a higher level spiritually. It's fake. It, I can understand if there was one, one time, one time every 50 years you're playing the sport and, you know, it's going to give your continent the, the advantage to get water and food, then fine, by all means. But this thing, it's like, what is the point of a season? What is the point? Oh, you won the championship in 2012. Who cares? It's irrelevant. Like, I just had a 38th, 38th birthday. Who cares? But sp- <laughs> It's irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> You've been hanging out with him. It's irrelevant. Um, I think when you're talking at least about not necessarily exercising, but when you're talking about competitive <laughs> sports, they only exist through competition. You know what? So, so they would that would be wiped out. You're, you're you're eliminating competition, I believe, right? You know what, man? Let's bring back sports. Already, I, I actually think <laughs> after talking it through. What an idiotic idea it is to cancel sports. You need sports. They you promote a healthy lifestyle usually. Promote a healthy lifestyle, discipline. My daughter could use with some sports. People bond over sports. The only sport my daughter's good at right now is crawling out of her crib and falling at her, onto her head. Is she the number one? Hopefully she one might. day she will be. Hopefully one day she will be. Let's see what height she can <laughs> cr- climb up and fall out of. <laughs> <clears throat> Walt Disneyland. Tell me about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I've been there. Disneyland, months. I believe, <laughs> although <clears throat> it's fun for all ages, you get excited, you get some endorphins. Ultimately, I don't know that it leaves our children uh, happier, healthier, and in better condition from when they first went in. I think that you go rat in a rat race. I think that the things are overpriced. I think that it puts children into a space of like this reality that's kind of not what they'll grow up in. But what about just creativity and fantasy and fun? I don't I don't think going to Disneyland. I think I think 
the ultimate thing you can do for your kids and be completely selfless is taking them to Disneyland. I don't think that it gets any harder on a parent than taking children, That's multiple true. children under the age of seven to Disneyland. It sounds I torturous. don't think it gets any harder than that. It sounds torturous. It sounds insane. I, I'm as impressed with that as the guy who's drawn sculptures on rice. You think that's one and the same? Pretty much. Pretty much. I guess I can't really it articulate. It sounds like hell. I, I guess I can't articulate why I don't like Disneyland. I was able to do it a, a couple hours ago, but now I can't. <laughs> I just can't tell you why I don't like it. Okay. But I'm, I guess I should say that I'm happy my kids liked it. But what I am actually proud of is that we told my kids that we were going to take them back to Disneyland two times in one week. We're going to take them back to Disneyland if they listened. And then they didn't listen that night. And then we actually followed through and took Disneyland away from them. And they... I agree. And they cried for five minutes. And then we told them, Disneyland is gone, but not your day. So you kids can go in the pool and have fun there. And then they jumped for joy, put in their bathing suits, and stayed in the pool for 12 hours. Right. So you kind of realize your kids never, they don't need Disneyland. Right. Disneyland needs them. Yes. It's true. And also maybe, I think a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of people are living vicariously. Like they're like, let's go to Disneyland because they want to go to Disneyland. Yeah. I would say that the most problems when I was at Disneyland with my family to go to Disneyland. were the adults not agreeing over what section of the park they thought, they said the kids wanted to go to, a.k.a. What part do you want to go to? Right. Yes. Okay. Yep. What was your favorite part? Of Disneyland? Yeah. Space Mountain. Space Mountain. That's the roller coaster in the dark, right? Fully in the dark. Yeah. Space Mountain. And then also Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Phenomenal. It's in the old Tower of Terror. Um, 3D thing? Let me tell No, no. I'm not kidding like at all. Like the screen, the big screen? And then it goes up, goes down. My daughter was screaming. She didn't know... When we were waiting online, she's not like, understanding the physics of it. Yeah, she goes, "Is there a drop?" I was like, "It's a little one," because I thought that it was, and then it shoots you two hundred feet into the air at the speed of light, right. and then it brings you right back down. I'm not lying; this is one hundred percent true. I told this to Pimp, TT Jerry was there, even my daughter. Someone in our ride in our <laughs> cubicle fully shit their pants. <laughs> no, 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 a full shit on the floor out of their shorts. I on my children, they fully shit in their pants. When you got out of the ride, the woman opened the door. She goes, she goes, all right, guys. You know, that was whatever, Guardians of the Galaxy. And then slowly put her mask up. I swear. Because they all were wearing COVID masks. Oh, but she, he fully, 100% shit in his pants. And, you know, Jerry was with her. She goes, oh, my God. He goes, oh, I think somebody shit their pants. And then my, T.T. Jerry. And then Delilah was, Delilah was like, Daddy, it stinks. And everyone was... <laughs> And everyone was getting off the ride. I swear to God, except these two men sitting all the way in the corner of one of, of one part of the ride. Because you go in with like 12 people, but it was a full shit in the pants. Wow. That's unbelievable. It was, and it was not a fart. It was yeah. undoubt, undoubtedly. You saw it? No, but you saw the two men sitting in the corner. I think they were a gay couple. Two men sitting in the corner, um, not moving. And you knew that there was shit in that you, seat. You know, you could tell. You could just tell. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. And, and how I also know it was shit in the pants because <laughs> the way you come out, you can see the line, which the line is pr is moving pretty constantly yeah. because you can fit so many people and they got and the line was at a complete stop. What what, what does that mean? Because they had to clean the shit off the floor oh. before they could load more people oh. and so the line was at a complete Wait, You're convinced that the, not only did he shit, but the shit fell out of his pants. He shut down the ride. There's no <laughs> way No, he shit his pants and and me and Jerry <laughs> And my daughter and my stepson were kind of like being like, was that a fart? And it was, it was fully shit out of his ass down his leg on Guardians of the Galaxy. <sighs> I, I mean, if that's not a plug for the Guardians of the Galaxy ride, <laughs> I don't know what is. Did a tourist get diarrhea on a roller coaster and splash 14 people? Oh, God. Do you know what, I, I ha would have to think. I would have to think if I went on a roller coaster... And somebody diarrhea oh, shit in my face. Oh. And I had waited two hours. At what point do you just, you have to kind of make a split decision and say, well, I can't get out of this, so I might as well just enjoy the ride. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and just let right. the diarrhea. Don't no, even no, try no, to move no. out of the way. Just keep your mouth shut. Yeah. just And just try to get whatever you can for them. That's the Close rest your eyes and just let it kind of happen. <laughs> That is the most zen. That's the that's the the most advanced way of looking at that situation. That's what the Mayans would do. That's what they would do. That's what they would do. Oh man. Well. Well, you know what it's been. 
This has been Hey, hey babe. babe. Don't be a fake, don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say hey babe.